Let me hear the air horn. And a gunshot. Uh, I didn't even do that second one. Uh, no, 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 I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here, Rory is here, Erickson is here, Savon is here, Screen Man is back there somewhere, Rim is here, Vince Staples is here, and last, but certainly not the least... Parks. <laughs> um, the- <laughs> Parks is here. Yes, happy birthday uh, to the God. Cheers, cheers, cheers to Parks. Happy Cheers. birthday to Parks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Parks is 36 <clears throat> today. Getting up there. Getting up there. How do you feel? 36. Everything is different now. <laughs> Everything how, how is different knees? now. The knees are getting a little worse. Okay. Yeah. Back's a little tighter joints, than it joints was. Joints aren't yeah. really there. It's yeah. all right. Yeah, it's cool. A couple more grays in the beard. It's okay. It happens. Welcome it. Yeah. Welcome it. Yeah. <laughs> Old fucks. Remember, the, <laughs> the goal is to age. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. That is the goal. The goal I can't is, wait to be a silver fox. That's nice. Silver fox. <laughs> no, that's, that's me. <laughs> I'm a silver fox. You're not. Don't, Don't look me in my eyes fox, and say bro. that, though. Don't, Don't look me in my eyes and tell me he's a silver fox. Don't what? look me in my eyes and say that shit. How come you don't got no gray? You be dying and shit? Nah. I, I got, no, I got two. Oh, okay. I got two. I saw two the other day. I was like, oh, shit. Think it's because you're a vegan? Maybe that no is. No worries. <laughs> That's because I'm 38. J Bone, the beard is great. Stay see, home. see, see, see. This is why you can't. This, see, and then Joe wonder why I don't open Hold up on. and tell you know, say shit about my childhood uh, to him because everything yeah, turned into yeah. a 16. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You J Bone now. Hold up, man. The, uh, pod, the podcaster. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, 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 uh, only known as Maul. Uh, 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 uh. Um, no, no longer uh, Rashid. Fordham, all of uh, them. <laughs> <laughs> say Fordham, all of them. <laughs> Jay uh, Bone from Jerome. Uh, <laughs> fought him. Fought him. It's uh. the last time I'm telling you niggas anything about my childhood. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> All right, no. Let me at least tell the people what we're joking about. Come on, more. You tell them. I, I, I tried to tell a story about how my one of my original nicknames as a kid was Jay Bone. <laughs> and now it's your real nickname. Yes. No, that's, no. Now you, I'm never calling you more. And yeah. I used to tag up and put, really write Jay Bone and draw like a bullshit doggy bone underneath that. <laughs> Like so so if I were to uptown. to be lucky and maybe get like an old five train, there may be like a J Bone. Oh four. Four mm. train for sure. I'm up there. Okay. <laughs> I'm up there on the four train somewhere. Yeah. What used to be like <laughs> I used to be like what? See, that's why I Cause everything's a joke. No, but what was like your how did you like like initiate the, the smoke when it came your way. Like, what was your line? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you dogs gonna get a bone. You, you keep you keep it up with me. <laughs> you don't want to find out why they call me J Bone. <laughs> yeah, see, this is the last time. J Bone. Why when y'all asked me, I was like, but Nah, Vince, fuck y'all. But wait, I then asked them. But wait, what? Walk me through it. Like, wait, what was Vince's early rap name? Yeah, it's some corny shit. Nah, knock it off. I didn't start rapping. Well, I was like name. 16. I never had no rap name. Well, where do you have like an alternate name? Well, what's your aunt that's call you, nigga? Oh, that's your real name? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nah, not in like third grade. Yeah, no, I, I could definitely see someone <laughs> yeah. getting clowned. Yeah, Parks wasn't so cool in, in, in grade school. Yeah, either. we was fighting. Didn't really I was work. so lame, I never got a nickname. I was, I've just been Rory. <laughs> <laughs> Like how, that's how trash I am. That's it. <laughs> Man, you never, no you rap never, name? but nah. you never had a nickname. Nothing. Nah. My name was too short. You ran was track as a white boy. What are you talking about? You, you had to have, have a name. fast nickname. You had to be Flash at some point. No, no, you nicknamed me Flash three episodes ago, <laughs> and thank God it didn't stick. <laughs> you I feel like he should have been simply red. If he was yes. ill on the track team, they would have had a name for him. Absolutely. Yeah. Simply right. That's fucked up, Rory. How you was D1 track and you didn't have no cool name? Is it too late to get a nickname? Can I be 29 and have a new nickname? Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> no, you can. You he's can, J Bone. Right? He's, oh, he I'm did not it. J Bone. Well, he's that, was, that was resurrected. Oh, okay. He's J Bone again. I'm not J Bone again. You're J Bone. <laughs> That's over. It's for my that birthday, man. J Bone. <laughs> Maul, at some point, did you have a custom jacket that said J Bone on it? 
No, I used to do dumb shit like write J-Bone under the brim of my hats. My mom was like, whoop my ass when she saw my hats. <laughs> one point. I would really write J-Bone under my hats. In case then, you forgot. I remember one time that they was doing the cement over, the sidewalk over. Mm. And it was still you did wet. The, you did the rocks or you I put, put your... Nah, I, I had a branch mm. and I wrote J-Bone in it. Oh, so you just always been like a ghetto little kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing some wild shit up ghetto town. ghetto ass nigga. I was doing some wild shit up town for sure. Fucking with, with the city's property. Yeah, for sure. They know, and it, it's like they know it's J-Bone. Who, who did that? Well, so, everyone knew who J-Bone <laughs> was. J-Bone. Tell, me, tell, me about your ex- <laughs> tell me about your exit from J-Bone. <laughs> That shit lasted about was it like, four months. How'd you retire? Was it, what, was it Revelation one day? He was like, or, ooh, retired? I don't think I nah, gave him too much. Nah, my mom said, if you write that shit on something else, I'm going to whoop your ass again. And that was it. J-Bone was over with. Damn, Damn mom <laughs> killed J-Bone? <laughs> yeah, that was in the J-Bone. That was in the J-Bone. That was it. Well, if, even if mom didn't kill it, what age is too old as an adult male to still be called your childhood nickname? Depends on if you go to jail or not. It depends on the nickname and who's like I I think if it's like your close friends they can still call you that if they knew you as a child like if y'all grow old together it's like I think that's cool like people still call you mouse but that, I only think people that call you that are people that really know you three people that still call me that but that's people you've known since forever I don't answer to it <laughs> <laughs> just be mad yeah, quiet I just yeah I just keep walking I'm Joe Budden now yeah <laughs> you wasn't you wasn't killing them with mouse back in JC uh. That that mouse was a hell of an MC, I'll tell you that much. Well. I'll, I'll say that. Everything else. But that was indicative of Joe Budden, too, my career. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, nigga. I see you laughing over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here because it's Park's birthday. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Park's birthday! Oh, uh, my <laughs> oh so we got to get lit tonight. We got to do something. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, what, else, what else is going on? Unfortunately, guys, it's just us here today. Uh, I thought we would have. A, I thought we would have a special guest here. I thought Cash <laughs> Doll would be here, but Mo let her go to the Breakfast Club. Yeah, Mo couldn't. She went. Deal. She went. She got in Elliot's car twice. I think. <laughs> she sat Damn. with Rob Markman, broke some bars down. Mm. She sat with everyone. Yeah. And I can't even be mad because she called and said, "Yo, I want to sit with y'all." That's a fact. Early And I was thinking Pre-Spotify more I think would have Closed that deal mm, You think when it's I, a little Hollywood now? I, yeah I, I think he'd I, be A little too cool To, to yeah. be like yo He was like yo Hit my manager Yeah J- Jay Blizzy would have Got that done Jay Bl- <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Your manager yeah. Jay Blizzy? Yeah. yeah Would never have a manager Named Jay Blizzy <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> you get nothing to compliment Jay Bone Jay Glizzy <laughs> No Jay Glizzy <laughs> no, Wait is this a real person We talking about? Yeah what? No no, who the fuck is that? Your manager. <laughs> not, I don't know who that is. Can I manage you? No, nigga. <laughs> so me and Jay Glizzy, all, all the Jays. No, you're, you're Jay yeah. Glizzy. You could be Jay Blizzy. <laughs> no, I could not be. You, Jay your name starts with J, and your last name starts with B. Jay Blizzy, and it's kind of chilly out. <laughs> we got a great show lined up for you guys today, man. I'm telling you. Uh, where do y'all want to begin? So ASAP Rocky l- recently <laughs> divulged to Angie Martinez <laughs> that he divulged. <laughs> Yo, I'm in a real silly mood, man, but fuck it. I'm here to deliver the news. So ASAP. Deliver the news. That's what we do here. <laughs> Breaking. It's world exclusive. So on Angie's new show, Untold Hip Hop Stories. <laughs> this, things- was, this was a story that could have remained untold. <laughs> no. No, you no, have to tell ASAP Rocky it's keeps horny. trying to tell y'all things, and y'all keep <laughs> ignoring. Horny as shit. He, he, he tried to tell y'all he slipped on some cum in a jail fight. Everybody just laughed. Yeah. Like he keeps trying to push it to the limit. Yeah, but fine. Now let me get the shit off. Our shout out to our first and last time listeners. Yeah. I can understand why this might be your last time listening, but fuck it. I'm here to deliver the news. Mm-hmm. So on Angie Martinez's show, Untold Hip Hop Stories, things heated up recently when ASAP Rocky shared. Why are you that, talking like the movie phone, man? <laughs> Joe is the movie Because that is man. the voice, I, 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 that's the voice I hear when they do the cliche. Like, oh, okay. Mm. Got you. And not saying anything about Angie's show is cliche, because I'm, mm. I'm on that show and I love Angie. <laughs> <laughs> we love everything. Um, things heated up when ASAP Rocky divulged <laughs> when he's horny that that's he the he's horny <laughs> he's still horny <laughs> he's horny when right that, now when that predator walked in ASAP <laughs> Rocky's Yo, a nasty old man <laughs> I just want to say for the record that I'm positive Perry today too nah nah for Fuck real that. nah for real I am I gotta be cause y'all nah. gonna get me in trouble 
Y'all gonna walk me to the ledge and I'm gonna jump because I don't know how to just chill. No. Nah. No. Nah, <coughs> All right, so let's talk about it. He's he's been crying out for years. Uh, his biggest hit was I like to fuck. I got a fucking problem. And we that just danced. True. We just danced right over his issues. That is true. That is true. I didn't think about we that. We do it to future, we do it to ASAP. We do so it to is Joe. he addicted to sex or addicted to <laughs> Orgasm. He's a freaky little boy. <laughs> <laughs> that is a freaky little man. That ASAP. <laughs> this is why, why, this why, is why he don't want to open a single just said the name, the name started to make me uncomfortable now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because what is Rocky? Exactly, yeah, what's exactly Rocky, buddy? ASAP. And, and, and why did you get Rocky so fast? <laughs> Pause. Creepy ass nigga. Get out the barbershop. <laughs> Kid out the nigga just running around getting hard anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty a, nigga. Getting hard in the barbershop is absolutely <laughs> fucking insane. Man. Wait, y'all never got hard in the way you wasn't supposed to? Yeah, oh, but not in the barbershop. barbershop. As an adult. <laughs> <laughs> getting hard in the barbershop is Yo, crazy. As a grown man. <laughs> what I, the fuck? Did I tell y'all the story about uh, me in the nail salon? With the Asian guy, uh, no, Yo. but I feel like you want to tell us about Joe. No, nasty. it's not a story. Nah, no, nah, no, I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for this. Come on, I was in the nail salon, minding my own fucking business, mm-hmm. chilling. Mm-hmm. But you know how when they get when they trying to get extra, mm-hmm. like normally uh, a, a, one of the ladies, the supervisor, or just somebody who is free will come and give you a little massage. That's right. what I'm used to. Okay, okay. So I'm in getting my fucking little, and I could guess it wasn't no available ladies. <laughs> So the dude, so the, so the d- dude owner came over. <laughs> Gave you a nice little happy ending. <laughs> you always see. Yeah, nice, nice too, little too jerk. Happy uh, no, now he, that's what happens when niggas try to get a nickname <laughs> as an adult. No, <laughs> too late. I'm not giving you no nickname. No. Now. <laughs> yeah, he came over. Yeah, he young, came. young rub and tug. <laughs> Young rub and tug. What's wrong with Rory? Nasty. He's a na- <laughs> nasty, too. nasty. Also a white boy. A nasty little white Listen, boy. Man. Yeah, word. <laughs> Don't judge me in ASAP. Uh, yeah, he came over and fucking gave, gave me a little massage, and I was about to stop him. Like, yo, dog. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I guess he, like, no, like, depression points and shit. <laughs> so you was like, fuck it? <laughs> nah, that nigga hit this little joint right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see your vibe. All right, Duke. You killing, you hey, killing yeah. that. I just gave him a little broader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, brought yeah. it up on him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to lock your shit up. Like, yeah, like... Let that nigga know you ain't chump, right? Like, oh, hold up, nigga. Like, fuck, sitting there holding yo, his breath. I'm about shit. to pee on myself. <laughs> Throw your shit up, like, nigga. Yeah, yeah, ahead. yeah. I'd have been mad if he'd have been loosen up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you took tens. <laughs> yeah. I bet, nigga. Why he got a Spanish accent. <laughs> get off, get off me, creepy <laughs> old man. Spanish and what's accent. ASAP doing over there? <laughs> He's definitely a regular. Spanish accent for everybody. Everybody. <laughs> All right, back to ASAP being. Wait, so uh, it moved. Huh? It moved? Oh, yeah, you were getting this massage? My shit? My shit? Oh, come on, man. He asked me that shit, yeah, man. Come on, man. I wouldn't have told nobody. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is you talking about? <sighs> <sighs> yeah, so ASAP's horny. <laughs> and Joe, apparently. <laughs> 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 Clearly. Y'all are sick. Yeah, but man. then I moved from Inglewood. I didn't go back to that nail salon no more. <laughs> that was the end of y'all relationship? Yeah, yeah. Man. The massage that got away? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, one of y'all. I still think you were experimenting. <laughs> Huh? That's dope that you were experimenting. <laughs> he wasn't experimenting. <laughs> he was exploring. Y'all swear I'm exploring. coming out right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It would do wonders for our podcast. <clears throat> no, please don't. It would. <laughs> no, please don't, though. Next level. No, I'm not. Okay. Next level. No, 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 we'll do it then. They go on your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> on your birthday. Maybe, maybe for the Come five year anniversary? Birthday. Um, No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and shout out the homeboy in there. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if you're out there listening. If you're listening. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. That, that was, that's my team. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you. You know my body. I mean, like, wait. <laughs> I mean, wait. Pause. Never mind. You can't say that to him. Holy shit. I do want somebody to explain the slang to me. Uh, you know my body. I never heard that Cause, until cause you I, said You know it. my body is like saying, Everybody like, is you know saying, how I get down. Yeah, that, yeah. that's a you could just say You could just say that. No, no. I just... <laughs> You know every year like niggas just gotta, say that. You know every year they gotta switch shit up, man. I like it though. Yeah, you know my body, man. It sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It probably yeah. but it probably was uh birthed by a killer. Probably. Yeah. And Refer- as, referring as, to something else. And, <laughs> and I bet they respected it. When he, <laughs> you know my body. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. are you doing? Yeah. Uh yeah, and then as it just went on, uh, the corny niggas started saying it. niggas with no nicknames. 
Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I ruined it for everyone. All right, come on. Back to ASAP Rocky being a naughty little boy. <laughs> Let's get Vince in trouble. You know ASAP. <laughs> Yeah. You ever slipped on some coming to fight, nigga? Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. You you don't I, don't I ain't never know nobody to fight in the bathroom in jail. Our jails are set up different though. Oh, Y'all okay. got showers? Y'all Yo, don't come up. Different. Yo, don't try to bring back uh, L.A. New York uh, beef, nigga. <laughs> RGL set up different. Y'all never... niggas slipping on cum. <laughs> it's just like, hey, well, hey, get down real quick. Let's go to the bathroom. It's like, we can just fight right here. Yeah, it didn't start in the bathroom. I understand. Because um, <laughs> if the fight start while niggas is naked, like that's different. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's different. Naked. You know my body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not fighting no nigga naked. It's not that Especially serious. no nigga That knows my body Like for, for real yeah. Don't know my body Man, I'm not fighting fight you well. Especially if there's Come on the floor You're staring yeah, at my yeah. birthmark like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not fighting I feel you. very vulnerable Right now yeah. I, where's I the don't towels? feel like My best fighting self yeah, Not at all Oh man uh, Damn I was about to say Something just that. Back to ASAP Rocky <laughs> Being a naughty little boy A uh, lot to unpack here <laughs> Yo, Joe is the idiot. <laughs> Joe is so stupid, man. Lot to unpack. It's not a lot to unpack. No, not much. He's horny. He's horny. It. Yeah. No, it is a lot to unpack. Is the it? sex addiction? I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna. If I'm being positive, Perry. So I'm not gonna get into it today. Oh, you but, think there's something deeper behind? Oh, there's of course there's something fucking deeper there. What the fuck are you talking about, man? I think I think that. Uh, he almost got me. Well, read read the report. Give us the quotes. All right, ASAP, ASAP, <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> it's such a funny name now. <laughs> I ain't calling him that. What's his real name? R- Rakim. Rakim. Oh. Oh. ASAP Rocky. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Says, I was always a sex addict, he admits. And with Pandora's and with Pandora's box cracked open, he then details when his sexual explorations began. He says, like probably junior high. He says to a flabbergasted uh, Martina. She wasn't, she wasn't flabbergasted. flabbergasted. Angie has heard so much <laughs> worse than this. So I got Angie she, fucked up. She was like, all right, so when? Yeah. He said, yeah like, yeah, like I was horny. I didn't even have no sperm in my testicles yet, but I literally just was horny. But you use the words sex addict, Martinez presses. He says, I've been a sex addict for some time. These are things, uh, these are things people stay away from. They don't like to admit it. I can't be embarrassed by it. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I don't do nothing that I'm not proud of speaking of. Okay. <laughs> heart on my sleeve to sex addict is, is a wild. Yeah, combo. what's on your sleeve exactly? <laughs> now I won't heart or heart. I'm sorry. I won't speak. <laughs> I won't speak to ASAP Rocky and his situation. What I will say is this: Is that something to be embarrassed about being a sex addict? What are you doing with your sex addiction? Yeah, well, I, that, that, I could find some embarrassment somewhere in there, I think. Yeah, if you're just, you know, slipping on cum in bathrooms and... Yeah. His sex addict shit might be cooler because he probably fucks a bunch of models and it's it's okay. But yeah, like, that's true. the nasty sex addicts that don't have these women readily available <laughs> could get kind of nasty. 80% of young men who tell me that they were fucking and horny and experimenting with their dick at nine... I'm going to instinctually just be led to believe that they were sexually abused or sexually taken advantage of. And that's where I go when, when I hear these things. Again, I'm not saying that that is what happened to ASAP Rocky. That is a, a, a grand statement. It's a grand accusation to not have any information at all. I'm just telling you what I hear. But he might have just been like, he might have been humping the pillow or something and then he made it seem like something more. Yeah, yeah, I mean, maybe everyone, you know what I'm saying. Everyone, like, everyone, everyone was, was humping everyone the pillow, rubbed, rubbed their dick on a pillow yeah. when they were a kid. Yeah. Did? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is you niggas talking about? Pillows are still getting <laughs> the work. Definitely, one hundred percent. I slept at your crib before. <laughs> not with my special pillows. <laughs> Thank, God. Thank God. You don't get the special pillows. <laughs> I didn't uh, know if you were a pillow addict just around the crib, just <laughs> just fucking whatever. Just grabbing whatever around. pillow was around. <laughs> no nasty, Rory. <laughs> Rory dying to be nasty. Um, yeah, so that that's just that's what I take from this type of stuff, and that's all I got there. Yeah, Rory's right though. He's probably just fucking a bunch of really hot model chicks. So, congratulations. Not, not at nine. Well, tell me who he was fucking at nine. The pillow. Well, he said he was having sex at nine, or he he started thinking about it. I guess. He said somewhere in there, nah, like, junior high. He was like having 12. orgies at a very young age. He was saying, it, like, probably junior high. That's what it says. Junior high, you're not nine. Yeah, 
You got a little sperm in your testicles, Junior, I think. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Something in there. <laughs> a little something. Yeah. <laughs> what do what do women do with this information? Like if a guy just comes out, yeah, I'm a sex addict, I'm fucking anything. They're probably his well, DMs with, are probably crazy right with now. With ASAP, I'm sure they're throwing some yeses on it. <laughs> I don't think they're really concerned with his well being. <laughs> well, just go to the comment section on that on that post. We'll see. We'll see what they're saying. I meant like in real life. Yeah. What women say on the internet are always lies. <laughs> well, yeah, that's fair. For it, for on the internet is ah, uh, yeah, fuck me, man. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> now in real life, yeah. if I want to fuck you and every every yeah. other person I see you with, yeah. how do you feel about it? Right. Yeah, I don't think they're so receptive to that. Yeah. No, but like Definitely Rory not. said, for eight, for Rocky is different. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any problem in that department. But I don't know. I, I don't know if being a sex addict. I mean, I guess it could be a problem. It could definitely be a problem. Be a problem. If you're just running around sticking your dick in wild places. That's why I said, is he a sex addict or is he just addicted to having Whatever orgasms? Whatever he is, just don't fight. That's a good question, because is he just jerking off all the time? Yeah, or is like he if you're just addicted to orgasm, you just jerk off all day, then that's different. But if you have to have sex all day, then that's like, all right. Well, that's a lot of work, first of all. He didn't say I'm a masturbation addict. <laughs> <laughs> he said, that is true. I'm a sex addict. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah. Very whoever, valid. Whoever says that. It doesn't to, sound nearly to, as cool. Angie. <laughs> Yo, I jerk off a lot. <laughs> yeah, like, why do you Oddly enough, I, women like that shit, man. I'm telling you. Like, when men jerk off a lot? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. do they? Yes, yeah. yeah, Maul. Tell me about this. No, J-Bone. <laughs> <laughs> no, you never heard that for real? No. I never heard that women like when men jerk off all day. I know a lot of... <laughs> all right, well, when no, you word it I know, like that. I know. <laughs> that's what we was talking about. I no was about more. to say, if that's the case, I've been like... You word it that way. I've been trying to be productive. No. Like, you, know, like, you want me to lay home and jack off all day, okay? <laughs> no, I'm saying, I know a lot of women who are turned on by the by sight watching. of yeah. a man oh. masturbating. Oh, okay. That's, okay. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. different. I, yeah, I know that. That's all. But not all. A lot of women don't like that shit. Like, I just found out women don't like the JV dick team. pics. Like... They well, dick pics is different from uh, jerking off, from what I've ascertained. It's true. Yeah. That's true. Don't ever say ascertained. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> when comparing <laughs> jerking off yeah, and a like, dick pic. I felt like that so was the appropriate yeah. order right there. <laughs> <laughs> it was intentional. <laughs> um. All right, so no, none of y'all want to unpack this. That's what I mean. I love when it's a pre-write. I'm telling you, five things will come straight out of this one. <laughs> I just want. I just want to. I just want to know why he chose Angie to open. Like, what do you want him to do with Charlemagne? No, but Angie Damn. is like. <laughs> no. He would like that. <laughs> See, see what? Yo, yo, you be, you be getting anxiety when you're not fucking. <laughs> Cause Bad that's nervous. <laughs> you get anxiety when you're not fucking. No, I'm just saying, like, I'm like much pass. I like, gotta go jerk off. All right, all right. Order, order in the pot. Enough of this. I feel like I'm about to pass out. I need to go jerk off. <laughs> Yo, that's the funny Ooh. shit. You know what? This interview is over. I need to go jerk off. <laughs> Where's your closest restroom? <laughs> oh my god! This, just this run- interview is over. I need to go just, have sex. Just running around with the big lubiderm in the bag. <laughs> that's sick. You got one of those camel packs. <laughs> now that's Joe Flo. He got the. He probably got the <sighs> matte bottle. The matte bottle of a wet platinum. <laughs> Wait, what are y'all saying over here? <laughs> what are y'all saying? That's your you flow. Uh, just rolling around with the wet plat. <laughs> we should have known this nigga was freaky when this record started like this. <laughs> that would make sense. <sighs> nigga in there. Tra- no, make the sample moan. <laughs> <laughs> make the sample moan. <laughs> Can you make it feel slipperier? <laughs> Yet still sticky. <laughs> But make it current to fret fashion. <laughs> current to fashion. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I feel like that's what he in the studio saying to his and engineer. The, and, and then you're like, word, now I know what you're saying. <laughs> he 
He used to do chains in there. That was a hard record, though. Great record. That was a real hard record. That was a hard record, but it was it was by a single, so. Yeah, I'm sorry. What the fuck? It was by a, it was by a single. It was one of those. All right, go pay, get two chains, get Drake, get Kendrick. Get, I think forty did the beat too. Get, exactly, get forty and. Give ASAP an eight. I don't know. That's yeah, hard. but it's one, it's of, it's one of the better, super hard, better ones. Super hard, super hard. Super hard. I don't feel like hard. a bias single to me as much as like when it's already got the hook and the beat yeah. already came with it. Like Who's I feel like record? they constructed it. Whose record was that? This one, ASAP. Rocky. ASAP. 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 Yeah. ASAP. ASAP. It's just, oh, well, there you ASAP. go. He told us years ago. He had a fucking yeah. problem. Yeah. And we just danced over it. Yeah. I know Ferg just be ignoring a lot of shit ASAP Rocky said. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Do you think Ferg, like, nah, Ree, let's just get our picture. Yeah. <laughs> no group shots. Oh, not in public. <laughs> I'm leaving it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so listen, man, yeah, that's the latest and greatest with ASAP Rocky. Shout out to uh, ASAP crew. Yes. Huge but fans. Friends person. of the show. No sarcasm. I'm serious. Yeah, fuck with ASAP. Yeah. I'm dick eating. What so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now right it there. makes sense why he was so anxious to get out of jail. <clears throat> he had to get his, his yeah. fix. It's a rough place to have a sex addiction. Good <laughs> word. <laughs> oh, that makes sense now. Yeah, that's why talking in, in rooms full of men are great. I say to y'all... <laughs> Yeah, man, some serious shit might have went down. Yeah, man, I don't think so. Anyway. <laughs> I think he's fine. <laughs> Yo, men are great. We don't give a fuck. All right, so we're going to get off of ASAP, uh, ASAP Rocky, but we're going to stay with the sex addiction theme because Rory, man, <laughs> we're going really to gonna stay with the, wild, the, the theme of wild, naughty boys. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it right on brand. Uh, and we have our, our insider here. Azalea Banks recently released some artwork. Mm-hmm. And I, how do I know this? Somebody sent this to me, I think. It may have been her. <laughs> it might have been Parks. I do not speak to Azalea Banks via text anymore. Oh, why not? Damn, what happened? <sighs> For reasons that shall remain between her and I. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but no, I'm not talking to Azalea anymore. <laughs> and she knows it and keeps talking to me. <laughs> like that's how you know somebody is. Now that's like, gangster. She, yeah. keep, she keeps texting me things. Yeah, she said that she'll say in the text like, "Joe, I know you're not going to respond to this, but X, Y, Z." And oh, you guys in a group chat? Correct. N- no, she <laughs> Mark, <laughs> Joe and Azalea. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a sick ass, that's a sick ass group chat. So crazy group that's chat. A sick fucking group chat, man. <laughs> Azalea Banks, Parks, and Joe. And it just be Azalea talking. Why you have to say Joe? Man? <laughs> Cause I gotta say See Joe what I mean about you yeah. What you mean Joe it puts me in a, I would like to respond to her But I know Joe isn't so Joe like, Button has not said a word In this group chat Wait it really exists Yeah, yeah. I haven't said a word either Cause I know he's not talking Who to her Who created the group chat She did, she did. Yeah. She's like, She just pulled y'all into a group chat together Correct Yeah I hate when people do that <laughs> It'd yeah, be pretty be funny though. To accept she was trying to be in she, this group chat She texts us to uh, she, uh, she, she was ghost riding the pod Correct she okay. te- texted me a whole rant to go on. Okay. Several, like, t- not just once. Oh, she always has ideas. And I Correct. think she was right about something. That she, yeah, she was. I, I agree. I, I'm just not going to go on Let's talk about one. Let's, let's bring up one of her rants now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> let's be responsible with our platform. Okay. <laughs> uh, but Azalea Banks put out some artwork. Rory sent it to my phone like, yeah. <laughs> we got action. <laughs> Bro, you God, are sick, I, guys. I have I have addictions. Yo, <laughs> this picture for Rory is like Gloria Velez in the big pimping video in oh, front of the car. That cowgirl. How hat. did this narrative start? That there? white leather. Oh, man. that cowgirl hat was special. Oh my God, that's what took that song out of here for me. Yeah, that's what did it. <laughs> it wasn't the flutes. It wasn't the pimp seat. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what is wrong with y'all? Because <laughs> pimp seat killed that bro. You know he yeah. did, but I'm just saying for me. I- yeah. 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 But when you the video came out, I didn't even hear what he was saying. And I was masturbating on beat to the burn, 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 burn. <laughs> masturbating <laughs> on beat. Burn, burn, burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a jerk offy beat. Yeah, I cut that shit off right before <laughs> fucking Hulk going to my house. It's got a flute in it. 
Whoa, for starting that shit, who the fuck you? No, no, nigga. Yeah. That ain't what I'm on right now. Get back, <laughs> get back to this white leather in front of this car. Anyway, so Rory sends this Azalea Banks picture to my phone. For those of you unaware why we're laughing, Azalea Banks has me. been a longtime crush of Rory. Yes. So much so that Rory has hit our real live group chat and not said, the one with her. And said, you. <laughs> No, not for nothing, y'all. Not for nothing. <laughs> with, with that being said, <laughs> yo, not for nothing. Yo, we might have been talking about like football and a game, sports and some shit. Yeah. Yo, not for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and he tried to include us. Yo, y'all don't think y'all don't think Azalea Banks is fine? No, nigga. We think Sam is fine. <laughs> <laughs> think your fiance is yeah, beautiful. Nigga. <laughs> and we ain't gonna let you risk it for Azalea. Mm. Go home. Parks never be letting me know when she's here. <laughs> now, speak speak to My your bad, speak to your affinity for Azalea you, Banks. You created this narrative of this lie, so I can't speak to it. All right, well, I'm lying, but speak to what you may have no, said what, before. No, what really happened was she had a picture leak of her titties, and I said Shits is all right. And Shit. then you guys called me nasty. Shits is all right. <laughs> <laughs> Shits is all right. <laughs> Shits is all right, right, Rory? I'm <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know. And then y'all called me nasty. She, and then she, we moved on with our day. She got herself a nice set. Them shits is all right. Oh, that's all right, dear? Yeah. Oh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas is crazy. <laughs> Come on, oh, come on, Vince, right agree there. with me. <laughs> come on, Vince, oh, agree. That's her. <laughs> nah, okay, look at her. Nah, those ain't bad. <laughs> those ain't bad. Okay. Yeah, they sit ni- nice in that fashion over Parts sweats. Parts call hell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas ain't shit. Yo, see, all all, right, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, See, all right, see, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, we cool. Whoa, we cool. whoa, whoa we cool. screen, man, relax. Yeah, we cool. We, we ain't cool. say nothing about her ass. <laughs> Don't put her ass on the screen over here. Oh, look at it. Oh, she must have went back, back for some. She must have went back to Columbia. So I must have missed those. I must have went back to <laughs> Columbia. You missed the remix? I ain't see those. <laughs> Oh, we objectifying Azalea Banks. Yes, right we are. <laughs> She's <laughs> gonna kill us She's in the group chat. <laughs> call her. Let me call her. Call her. Let me see if I get her on the phone. Yeah, let's call her. Call her up. There you go. Let's objectify her to her face at least. Vince, any thoughts on this? <laughs> nah, me and Azalea Banks had a conversation. She uh, think I only talk about her publicly when they benefit me, so I'm not gonna talk about her. But I fuck with Azalea Banks, and all her music is hard. And y'all crazy right now because she gonna stab you. <laughs> I, I ain't here neither when y'all do no, She is talented, though. Super talented. She is. Well, with nice titties, you start realizing no, she's I've always said no. she was talented. Just, just a little crazy. <laughs> oh, she's about to dub park. So. She is. Come just on. hit the group y'all, chat. Y'all never, y'all never answer the group chat, so. Come on, right. Azalea. <laughs> nah, she ain't fucking with parks. Nah. Yep. Damn it. She might call back, though. She'll call back. I'm sorry. I'm leaving a message. Leave the it. I'm leaving a message. <laughs> <laughs> one of them t- <laughs> I'll Joe leave a voicemail. Yeah, I'm leaving a message. Nah, fuck that. She got to call Yeah, back. you got to be prepared for the yo, I called. No, you didn't. Yeah, yeah. Yo, check your VM. <laughs> your VM. <laughs> Forgot my password. No one has left a VM in yo, a never. decade. But, yo. All right, so. <laughs> You're um, <weirdo>. So. <laughs> Even mothers stop with that shit. Word. When mothers stop doing it, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we 40 minutes in and they talked about a goddamn thing. Sure we have. We have. Azalea's great uh, pictures. Azalea Banks has a landing strip, more importantly. Did y'all see that part? <laughs> I didn't. Get and why, is, and why is Azalea cover. Banks releasing her vagina for the world to see? Like, that was a bit is, much. Why is she doing this sexualized thing? Well, she's, a, a, she's, a art, she's a very artsy type. That is true. Of, that is very true. That so is true. It's, it's and, probably and vaginas a, more, are artsy. More, a lot of compliments from, from, you, from that seat now. Huh? Well, no, she's very eclectic. She's had her whole titties yeah. on. She is so artsy. Yeah, I'm not so nasty anymore, <laughs> am I, guys? <laughs> she's had her whole titties on Twitter and all that shit before. Yeah, yeah she's not. This ain't, this ain't new to her. Nudity is nothing to Zoe. Yeah, that's a fact. It's nothing to her. Hey, this goes back to my argument. Hey, we right back. I'm back, baby. What argument? If you... If you objectify <clears throat> one part, now you know what this is sound creepy already. <laughs> nope. I'm at the edge what? of my seat. No, I bet you are. <laughs> no, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. It, what? What? No, I'm not doing it. There's no way for me to properly say it, so I'm not. I'm not gonna say it. Say it. No, nigga. <laughs> Find a way to say it. Pussy. Some shit is high. <laughs> <laughs> Them shits is high. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't say a word about a single. A <laughs> I don't know if she got a single. Uh, a freestyle date. Friday. It I don't know if she got SoundCloud. We ain't nah. say. And Parks mixed all the records. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I don't know if she got a date. 
Parcel of engineers get his money in dip. Oh, yeah. Nah, he don't no, answer the phone. You know damn well I'm not that guy. <laughs> well, now with me, I wasn't paying. How's the music sound? <laughs> How's the music sound, Park? I haven't worked on any music. Oh, okay. Yeah. She moved to LA, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's why she got new titties. <laughs> I think she had the new titties before LA. Mm. In preparation for that. Well, she move. went to LA to show off the new titties. That's fair. I can I'm not mad at that. Yeah. All right, whatever, man. I'm done with Azalea Banks, but. Rory's not alone anymore <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my addiction <laughs> She's definitely alright That is some creepy shit uh, <laughs> Shout out to AB what, what, else, what else would you gentlemen like to discuss? Oh nah Hip hop is not dead Yes it is <laughs> Nah I hate it Nah Malik, <laughs> Malik, Malik Yoba restored the feeling A word? How quickly people love to spread news With no proof for child abuse You confused I see you choose <laughs> To make me lose, but I can't. If Yo, what's you try wrong to stand you? in my shoes, you would lose. You can't He's win. He's kind of rapping on beat. <laughs> when you got to begin, where it begins again. In the beginning, I told you there was mm. word, the word. Okay, you got a nice verify. We would love each other. No matter what, you my sister, my brother, whether you be a trans no, man or a trans woman, trans woman I do not know. If you do not understand, yes, this is a freestyle. I'm feeling kind of wild off the top of my dome. Mm. And somebody else I thought zone. this was written. Leave me alone. Yeah, nah, me With too. your words and your comments and your shit you don't. Don't me hold too. on I as I think about it daily. Made me move deeper and deeper into my warrior spirit. Ooh, deeper yeah. and deeper, you see? And you're going to hear it. He on his you gon' fear if you don't understand it. <laughs> lean into it so you understand it. See, mm. because all of this is nah, just you gotta the lean way into God it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Cut the beat off. Cut the beat off. He killing. Cut the beat off. You have you have the beat. How you like that? Those little freestyle. How you like that? That's not me. Oh, oh, someone put it on the beat. I thought you were doing that. I was like, damn, you nice. I thought you. were doing that Oh, he was in pocket. No, that wasn't me at all. I thought that was you. Like, where's killing? You gotta lean into it, bro. Yeah, lean into it. Lean into the beat. Yeah. Purpose. Can you tell us what we're listening to? That's all it's about. Malik Yoba. This, yeah, this, he, these, he gave you the signs. These, this is a Malik Yoba freestyle responding to. <laughs> Thank you, Roy. <laughs> this is a Malik Yoba freestyle responding to. <laughs> that was a response. <laughs> please, tell, please tell me what that was a response. <laughs> that, was, that was worse than a Cassidy response first. <laughs> oh, no. oh, my God, man. Jesus Christ, Joe. See, I be saying shit to alley you with them all so he can get his cast slander off, and he just, oh, Joe, Joe man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Cass, he's giving his best try. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Y'all told me that Cass was getting paid, so hey, that's what it is. He not doing that bad. <laughs> what? He not doing that bad. Hey, Vince what? Staples. Cass Come on, Vince ass, Staples. He get his ass beat in that ring. <laughs> we done seen worse on, like... That don't mean he ain't Who you seen worse from? Beat. And that don't, uh, it don't matter. Cannabis, okay, that's fair. But it uh, don't matter. Uh, Keith Murray. But cannabis don't keep going okay. back. He went twice. Okay, so Cass, this is Cassie's third time? More hey, than three. You understand, Reed, Reed Dollars started off kind of like shaky, and Reed been doing good lately, so probably he probably like, or oh, Reed Man, got Cassidy the Cassidy is it. 20 years into rapping. So is Reed Dollars, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's over for Cassidy. Ain't none of them niggas way. young, but Chess. <laughs> them niggas grown as hell, and Geechee. And Cash don't. She don't smack. <laughs> she ain't what? <laughs> What? <laughs> Joe. Sometimes I hate you. <laughs> See? But <laughs> I'm serious. I know. I know you are. <laughs> Cash said, she told Charlamagne she's 27. No, she did not. Yes, she did. No, she did yes, not. Yes, she did. No, she did not. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear. Not. And I believe in God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, niggas just be saying, I swear to God, you. <laughs> nah, I'm dead ass. Yo, why no, niggas man. be lying to their dead grandma so much? Because she did. Cause if she was here, Rory. if she was here, she would have lied for them. No, Rory's got a point. Cause Vince she's dead. Point. Vince got a point too. Vince has a good point. Yeah. If she was there, she gonna lie for you. So yeah, <laughs> niggas will lie on their dead grandma, Joe. <laughs> nice. You know why niggas are nasty? Niggas be lying on their kids. I, I was, you had to say, niggas I love lying yeah. on their kids. But that's it's my, and their kid. moms, everything. Wait, what? And their moms, everything. No, yeah. just be lying. Bottom line I never See I'm too much Of an extremist To ever have tried to Yo I put it on my mom Like that's too They see that <laughs> that's, that's predictable Yo On my mom yeah. Should I hear tomorrow <laughs> yeah. yeah that don't mean shit <laughs> yeah. uh, Alright so where we at Cassidy No Malik Yoba's song That you fucking played And didn't tell us Why you was playing it And left yeah. it to me To try to explain his. Cause I, w- I was restoring the feeling That's it Bars are back How quickly people love To spread the news no proof of child abuse. Mm-hmm. Damn, he's talking about that shit you was talking about earlier. With ASAP. 
Yeah. You confuse. I see you. I think he's addicted to sex too. <laughs> he just don't know how to say it. Do y'all think you know? What, no, I think uh, he said it in the bar. Let me just. <laughs> he he revealed. Yes, this is a freestyle. <laughs> Who wrote this article? <laughs> Off the top of the dome. Yo, I promise y'all nobody cares. <laughs> I know we sitting here having a blast. Nobody cares about this verse at all. At all. I think Malik Yoba doesn't know that, though. That's the problem. <laughs> like, was this before or after the interview? Nah, this was a while ago. This came, this, I thought so, right? Yeah, this this is only sick because <laughs> he's responding to claims of him sexually abusing <laughs> underage transgenders <laughs> with a freestyle <laughs> verse. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are really clear on what's going on. He didn't even care to give us a written. <laughs> he ain't give a fuck about that dude. <laughs> he couldn't even put it on a beat. <laughs> Holy shit. He ain't give a fuck about Duke. <laughs> it's a sick time we live in, man. This is a sick time. Yo, he just sick grabbed the mic and sick. went off the dome on some crooked eye shit. <laughs> he went crazy. He lost his mind, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Am I allowed to say Duke? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I think about it. I think so. I mean, yeah. no disrespect. All respect, dude. All great ones. I, I, I don't think that's <laughs> Yeah, right. once you say all respect, dude, it's okay. No, I mean, some disrespect is coming. Yo, on my, <laughs> on my grandma's, I didn't mean it. All right. We don't care about Malik Yob. Malik Yob, you need therapy and a lot of help. Yeah, uh, and I'm gonna shut up because Malik Yoba is actually dating uh, Carmen, who I was on a uh, uh, couples therapy with. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's Carmen. Carmen is the transgender from Love. Uh, couples therapy. Couples. couples therapy. So she left the guy she was on the. Yes. show Oh, so Malik okay. Yoba is really dating a transgendered woman. Yes. Okay. I didn't yes, know that. he is. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. He's, he's shout, living his rhymes. And shout out to Carmen. I fuck with Carmen. I don't. I, don't, I can't sit there and crack on Malik Yoba if he's down with Carmen. I guess. No, you still can. No, nah, because this is sick. Yeah. Carmen should have told this nigga not to put this verse out. <laughs> <laughs> like Maul tried to get me to do with OLS3. I tried. Maul tried to stop such greatness. He really did. I tried. I remember. No, nah, that was going on. That's, yeah. that's before I had all the information. <laughs> that was going on. That was, that was, no, don't do that. That's that before was I had streets. all the information, though. I didn't have all the information behind the story and what was going on. And then once you told me, I was like, oh, no. Oh, what, you, what you mean? He, he rapped the whole story. <laughs> yeah, nah. No, no, not. I'm talking about the behind the scenes shit. Oh, okay. Ninth Wonder tried to stop your control verse, too, if you remember that one. I do remember that. Well, that shit ninth was, ninth was, was kind of right. I was just bored. Yeah. <laughs> I like that verse. I was just bored. Yeah. Everyone was rapping on that beat. Yeah. There's only one Joey that's badass. <laughs> that was on that. Was it? No. Yeah. I thought that was on uh, that. I think I put it on there. Oh, okay. But it's from it a was different from song. song yeah. We, yeah. Slaughterhouse fucking. Yeah. <sighs> anyway. Um, <laughs> all right. Off of Malik Yoba. What else is important? There are some important things to talk about. Somebody keep me. Uh, somebody update me on what happened. El Chapo's son got arrested and then it got unarrested. You better believe it. Now, runs in the family. How did this happen? This I don't know. This this is Maul's area of expertise. <laughs> no, well, they, I don't think we are expertise at anything. <laughs> well, he's the closest. All right. No, they 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 had uh, they arrested El Chapo's son and uh, why? I don't know why they arrested. him. I'm guessing drugs. I'm, I, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go down. A, I don't think it was a traffic ticket. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they arrested him. I don't know what, what he was arrested for, but. Whatever he was arrested for, he's unarrested now because the uh, the cartel, you know, they decided like, nah, we ain't having that. Let him go. And they started tearing shit up. Yeah. Okay, while I think I do understand that, can anybody give me some more information on how this occurred? Have you guys I mean, seen any of the Rihanna slow motion videos lately? Watch them repeatedly during Vince this, Webb, during, Webb, during this podcast. <laughs> The Mexicans got like real guns down there, and they not playing. They put on a, they, you know how the Mexicans be wearing like the Levi's, like the little five hundred one, like the farmer. That's my swag, like yeah. The, so yeah, they like whatever you see a Mexican in Mexico with like the Levi's with like the collar shirt tucked in it. They work with them niggas. And, like he was over there just chilling. The police took him. They was like, give him back. But why they take him? <laughs> give because him he yelled Chapo son, and they was like, you know, they trying to crack down. You know, sometimes they be getting bold. Like we gonna do our job. The, the cartel was like, give them back. And they was like, nah, we got them. <laughs> and they was like, don't play with us. And then they was like, what you going to do? And that's what they did. What did they do? Tell me. They well, fucked they, some shit they, up. Boom. So what they did, they pulled up, right? They got 50 cows on the back of the pickup trucks. Mm-hmm. 
So they just knocking on everybody, just causing disruption. You feel me? Then they try to break into jail. He not at the jail. My, we don't know when none of this happened because the internet be lying and trying to make Mexican people look bad. This, so we this don't sounds know how like a power is. episode. You know, no, it, no, no, it does not. <laughs> it or no, it does not. <laughs> it's well written. Yeah, it <laughs> this is sophisticated. Yeah, they like just running down the streets. People duck behind the car. They just popping off. The police trying to pull up. They knocking on them. Pop, 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 pop. Boom. Then they go to the border. The army at the border, from a video I seen, the army at the border, they pull up like in 10 pickup trucks and was like, move. So they was ready for the shits. Then the army was like, it's too many of them. And I oh. guess they was just doing too much in public. So they was like, let's let them go because we don't want any innocent people to get hurt. The niggas was over there like, they was thugging. They weren't playing. All right. This is crazy. Man. That's crazy. Yeah. Like I said, the cartel's victory was a stunning humiliation for the Mexican government. They be wild over there. Yeah. Are they gonna, I wonder if they're going to try and get him again. <clears throat> I wouldn't. Not yeah, I might just want to take the L on this one. Yeah. Well, wasn't it hard enough to bag his dad? Word, they did yeah. that a couple times. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. They wasn't playing for real, for real. walks past a burnt vehicle, bodies lying on the street. See? Rest in peace to homeboy. Yeah, nah. Nah. Oh, yeah, they you was going for nah, their nah, heads. No, 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 They're not this playing. Is a, this Word. is like some real life... Netflix shit. <laughs> so when, look, so when y'all go down to Mexico acting racist and you know being loud and drunk, and you know I don't plan to. Just yeah, let y'all know. I'm just cool. don't happen to you. Yeah, Shout I'm chilling. Mexicans, I fuck with the Mexicans. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm chilling. God damn. <laughs> they pull up a PT Cruiser. Oh, they went to War War. Okay, I get it. Yeah, All we right. don't want no smoke. <laughs> yeah. So off of that, <laughs> let me stop even talking about this shit. God damn it. Uh, okay, so El Chapo's son uh, is it's arrested free. and unarrested. Uh, let me make the round of applause, man, for freedom. Yeah, man. <laughs> we show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Certainly am. Let's talk about, uh, before we get to music, I do want to talk about, I want to talk about Wale's first week with the 35, he's told 35,000 records. Um, before we get that, we got to cover white people. And I feel like that's almost a segment every week, but fuck it, it's appropriate. What do we I do mean, this time? White people do a lot of shit. Y'all, man, y'all think everywhere is just Williamsburg. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So y'all went out to see the Joker. The Joker was you guys as Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> that is true again. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I'm on board. Right, so y'all went to see y'all's... White Panther, I was feeling Joker. That shit. I was feeling that. Of shit. course, he was. Yeah. A great fucking yeah. uh, Black Panther, white people film. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and y'all didn't have y'all. Y'all saw it and y'all left and was like, "Damn, only thing that was like not really a Wakanda." There was steps. There was steps. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Which probably was all white people had before they stole everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> some steps. Yeah, steps. We were sitting there like, that's where we started all, out at. All we have is these steps. Niggas, <laughs> niggas was on the steps. No, you're right. We was in pyramids and yeah, shit. I yeah. see why they got us the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ain't just gonna be in the pyramid, right? <laughs> and I'm on these steps. <laughs> so white people, those said, steps are really high. Y'all can't just go places that y'all see in films and for photo ops. And that's what's happening now. White people are just going to these fucking steps located in the Bronx. Uh, no, I believe the part of town is called Sobro now. No. Sobro. No, that's not Sobro. <laughs> that is still, white people are crazy. That is still near Jerome Avenue where you can get your head bust open. Wait, what did white people try to rename Harlem? No ho. Uh, no, Noma. No, 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 Northern no, something. Northern North, Manhattan? North Noma? Noma, yeah. North, nah, North Noma. Manhattan. No, nah, we got to chill. They tried to sneak in like Hamilton Heights too. Yo, Rory, Come you got, on, you got like a connection with them over there? The white people? Yeah. Of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're all in a group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The they bridges. don't fuck with me really, so. No, my uncle actually built those steps. That's why I'm a little concerned why I can't go there. Oh, uh, okay. Vince, all these white people <laughs> of your <right. laughs> Hey Ma, you been to the big ass, the new building on 134th in the Bronx across street from the projects? He yeah. Oh, yeah, that's his, that's crazy, that's his right? territory. <laughs> Wait, what? That's a nice building though. It's that it, they got a grand piano in the lobby. Yeah. Oh yeah, they don't make those. What type of what type of music oh, are they playing on the piano? I was trying to, was so trying to get in there. <laughs> they ain't got no grand pianos in Long Beach. There's a lot of black people in that building too, though. Yeah. So Why was you in that building? I be I be out here. Ah, uh, you bees mm. in the trap. Bees so, in the just, trap. <laughs> what's the name living that building? I'll tell you. Up there, Yo, no, a gang of black, a gang of the homies yeah. in that building. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's you got a nice building. Yeah. Oh, allegedly. 
<laughs> yeah, allegedly. allegedly. Yeah. Damn it, you gonna yeah. tell him where the new crib is at? Yeah, no, I didn't say no name. You said what's his name, man? Yeah, I didn't say no name. I didn't crazy. say no name. You know, oh, I don't wow. do that. Y'all think cops listen to our shit? Hell yeah. They yes. be DMing me. Shout out the cops. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> shout out the fucking cops, nigga. <laughs> Yo, y'all don't want to shout out the cops? No, I don't. Yo, Maul is so Maul is so <laughs> similar to Remy. It don't what make you no mean? sense. What you mean? I don't want to shout out the cops, nigga. Yo, what up, twelve? <laughs> yeah, like what the fuck am I, am I supposed to say? Twelve. <laughs> you wouldn't shout out the cops? No. All right, I ain't a cop, nigga. I know. Um, yeah, white people are going to the steps that they saw in the Joker movie, and they're taking photo ops. Just don't go over there after ten thirty. After 10.30 9.30 yeah. You got the over there Fucked no, up I, No I don't I know exactly where that's at <laughs> Trust me I've, I've ran down them steps A lot of times <laughs> Yeah Trying to get yeah. away from some yeah. shit Yeah dad just moved I just can't Yeah I just <laughs> I just I just can't understand That people are really Going there. over there Taking pictures Like That's the funniest shit Ever to me That's crazy Like <laughs> you know, it's, If you knew the history Of those steps over there White whatever. people do have Like a certain When they do have like a certain innocence, like children, like they could just go to and everything's grand and everything's great, nothing's gonna happen, everything's fine. Okay. Them steps don't even look like that empty. <laughs> <laughs> empty, it don't look like, yo, these are steps I'm gonna just chill out on, get a pick real quick. Them niggas over there trying to do Joker dances. They trying to run down the steps like he was? <laughs> no, they trying to do a little great, ball- ballet concept. ballerina down the steps. Go ahead and keep it up. I mean, it does wonders on Facebook, it kills. I get it. <laughs> Good traffic. It comes across well. <laughs> Good traffic. TikTok. A lot of clicks. Like cleaning up on TikTok. <laughs> Yo, here's a question for y'all. Why does my phone say 5G, but somebody told me that uh, America's going to lose the race to 5G to China, and once, once they crack it, it's over for us? Ask LeBron. Um, I don't know. <laughs> How y'all feel about them asking China, asking black people about China, but then ask China about black people? Did mm. that bother you? Did no. I tell you not to depress me in here? <laughs> no. I, I said I feel like I said that them five times, and no, it didn't bother me. I just be wondering, you know, they go to China every year, and like niggas was dying every year that they go to China, and they was like, "Hey, we know y'all going through some shit, but listen to what I got going on." That's just always crazy to me how they be trying to see what LeBron. Feel no, about that, some shit. that that. <laughs> <laughs> like we know you just opened up a school full of niggas, but hey, you heard what's happening over here. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? That bothered me. Yeah, I was wanting, never mind. We ain't gonna never get But you don't think uh it ain't crazy why all these niggas is uh getting in getting in line and it's a big business in China and, and we all need it. The NBA got a shit ton of money from that China deal, Yao mm-hmm. Ming. I, China. I'm not even talking I'm just I don't even know why they asking them. But bigger than the NBA, and I guess that's all for what you're saying, but bigger than the NBA, America, period. Like what are niggas really gonna do if China get mad? Honestly, somebody yeah. tell me. Damn, I sound like what the USA gonna do? That's it. That's it. Yeah, we'll kick the shit out of China. Man. No, you won't uh, because you because we all about capitalism and we do a lot of business with China. Actually, a lot of places Niggas don't do even business go with to China. the army no more. They letting people with like you know certain felonies and like certain misdemeanors into the military. Niggas don't even want to fight no more. They don't got no choice out there. They picking up everybody that's fifteen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Steps that's what yeah. I think felons are great for the army. <laughs> I think it's better. They <laughs> the gonna felons they are great for the army and Uber. <laughs> <laughs> like Uber stop even asking for you. Yo, you don't need a license. <laughs> you know? Nah, them no, Uber. just do whatever. Just come. Nah, yeah. them Uber just just come. Register. You can tell the Uber Eats niggas with felonies though. They just talk to you a little spicy when you call them. Wait, yeah. Yeah. I saw Uber Eats two days ago. Mm-hmm. The, the little app shit tell me he here. It's raining. <laughs> I go outside. He ain't there. But ten minutes later, he pulled up. My dumb ass stayed out there. I'm smoking and shit. I'm getting mad. He pulls up. Nigga pull up, sat in the car. Yeah, no, he ain't getting out. <laughs> and didn't get out. I'm texting a little Uber. I'm texting the end of the yo, yo, you just going to sit there? <laughs> he ain't even hitting back. Nah, I hit the nigga. I said, yo, ring be- ring the bell. So I, I gave him the bell. I'm, I'm like, all right, I'm, ring the bell. Oh, I love your ring the he bell said, story. He said, he said, I have a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said it again. I said, yeah. I said, fam, ring the bell. Like, I have arrived. So then I call. I'm like, yo, ring the bell. He's like, nah, I'm not coming upstairs. I said, all right. I, go to, I said, all right. All right. Don't worry about it, fam. I said, I know what type of nigga I you got, are. You just doing this so you can have something on the books. Mm-hmm. Like, I know. I got all the way to Money Door and got spicy with him. 
after I got my food. <laughs> but he was going to get some Joe's place. Um, wait, we wasn't talking about that. Man. We wasn't talking about China. What was we talking about? White people's subs. White no, we off of that. Listen, y'all gonna, white people going to white people. Y'all going to do what y'all do. As long as the white people yeah. I love don't go do it, yeah. then everything is cool, man. <laughs> I fuck with a lot of people from the Bronx, so I would do it, but I wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? No, I okay. wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Um, okay, white people, white peopling. What else do I have here that is important? Oh, shit, El Chapo's son, we did. Frank Ocean snippet. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it either. There's a Frank Ocean snippet, and there's drums. Uh-oh. Oh, and there's God. spillage. Thank God. What, empty? No, it's empty. Oh. I'll say thank God for drums. Oh. No, nah, it is drums. Now, I don't know if they pitched this record up so that we don't know what's going on. You know, Frank is artsy, like Azalea's artsy, right? Mm-hmm. Right, more. She is, um, she is RC. She is. So let's see. Let's see. Do I have it? Do I have it? Do I have it? Do I have it? Uh, he was DJing in the club, so this is not the greatest of audio. Oh, okay. And I love here, this. And here we go. I like it. Nice no, fire. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm on board. In. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I, I, don't, I don't need to hear nothing else. Album of the year. This is hard. <laughs> Album of the decade. This is hard. Yeah. This, this sound like this. This sound like the Frank I've been looking for. Pause. You like that? No, this is this. You've been vibe. looking for the Frank. This is this is my vibe right here. I've been looking for this Frank. This is this sound like pyramids, Frank. Let me play this again. You know, you know, I know this is hard. It don't even matter if this is pitched up. He it doesn't even matter like if it's Frank pitch. or not. It might not even be Frank. I was gonna say, how do we even know this? Because he was DJ. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Could have played James Blake's new shit. <laughs> Wait, that, his vocals? that sound like that's Frank's bag. The James Blake, DJ. yeah, nothing. This sound, this sounds like him. This sounds like a Frank record to me. Now I could be wrong. This sounds like Frank's way of making records. <laughs> no, I don't even think that's pitched up no more. I don't, I don't think that. Hard drum that came in sounds like that pitched up. That shit sounds hard. This shit sounds. Great. They seem to be having a really good time. So, <laughs> Park, shut the fuck. up. They do. They're enjoying <laughs> they it. They seem For to real. be having a Look really at them. Look at all them white people gathered around there, like the Joker steps. <laughs> <laughs> they just there watching the, too. The DJs now, when they be turning all the knobs and nothing changes with the song, <laughs> I'd be mad, confused. Like no, they're just the whole it. song, they doing all this shit. They're not doing and it. Nothing is happening. It's all premixed. <laughs> yeah. They're not even like crossfading records. Like it's already just done in Ableton. What's whack about trying to uh, trying to get excited for a Frank Ocean release? Pause again. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. That, good job. That, Thank you. You have to pause. If you just said a Frank no, no, release, no, 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 no. no. Frank getting Ocean, a, the a one thing that's release. bad about getting excited for a Frank Ocean <laughs> yeah, release. Yeah, no, no, no. You, good job. Yeah, right. um, <laughs> is he's so artsy? This shit might come out in 2025. Yeah. Like yep. well, I don't I don't know when this is coming. He ain't never gonna tell us because that's that whole mystique thing. But this sound like this might be his summer record. <laughs> that's just so he ain't fun. putting this out when it's snowing. No, absolutely. But not. it probably never snows wherever Frank is. That's probably true. Yeah, yeah. he live out here. Frank live in New York. In New York, you niggas be so out of touch. Because <laughs> I don't know where Frank Wait, lives. Hey, let, let, let me. He live in that new building on one thirty three. He be on a bicycle. <laughs> he be on a bicycle. On bicycle. I gotta start biking more. But why am I not? That's because I don't know where Frank. Frank Ocean lives. You don't even know what the. You ain't even gonna talk about the party. That's like an extra ten minutes right there. Well, what's the party? That's the party. It's, it's called. It's like a. You call it like Prep Plus. It's, the it's, people that. It's like they giving out free HIV preventative medication and all that other. Oh, stuff. Oh, so you know? could just go wild in there yeah, safely. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you feel me. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, bitch said, "Yeah, you feel me." <laughs> Something's wrong with me. <laughs> that nigga's stupid, man. And Rory. <laughs> <coughs> Rory's trying to go to the HIV party in Wild Out. <laughs> Listen, Parks. I have, Parks. Yeah, if I have no worries. That's, not, that's, that's what he said. That's not what Rory said. No, and Parks' defense is exactly what he said. That, 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 that is exactly what Rory just said, by the way. He said, yeah. No. Parks, was, Parks was right. <laughs> I think. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, you trying to go in there and let your worries go? Yeah, man. Just, just <laughs> raw, raw dog with no worries in the, in the, in the yeah. spot? Wait, There's something wrong What with was you. the first half of that logic for her? Which one? <laughs> let your worries go. Never mind, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, cool. He's not uh, well versed in his catalog. And Frank Ocean is said to be, oh, now, that, now that you mentioned that, it's, Frank Ocean is said to be opening a, a gay club in New York. Oh, yeah, this was it. That's it. Oh, that's it? Oh, this was it? Yeah, he doing like parties. Oh, he's you know? never making Oh, music. I'm He's going to make so much money off that shit. You going to a gay party? 100%. Oh, 
Gay I'm Florida said everybody likes like, being there. It's like yeah, it's for everybody. For the act. Act. So it's not a gay party. If well, it's like, it's just uh, no, that's like not the it's not a gay party. Whoa. If everyone's a, nah, it'd it be nah. It'd, yeah. Ma, Help me understand yo, what Ma, a gay you a little ignorant. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm about you to tell you. Oh party, really? Everybody's invited. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Everyone's invited. It's Everyone's always party. invited to the gay parties. You can just go to the gay bar and have a yeah. blast. Pause. Yo, Ma, so so by it. Yo, you mean to tell me? <laughs> no. you, think, you think they're screening at the door like, nah, prove you're gay. I'm to get in. Come on. Yeah. Nah, I gotta, I gotta see some. <laughs> kiss this dude or you're not getting in. <laughs> Come on, kiss that dude. Kiss that dude you're or you're in. not getting in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, touch him. That's not my area of expertise. That wasn't so enough. I'm sorry. We need tongue. <laughs> We don't believe you. <laughs> you need more people and kiss them too when they come. Kiss, kiss more of the people. <laughs> Y'all are fucking No, we got sick. the AIDS medication. You'll be no. fine. <laughs> Rory. <laughs> Rory. <laughs> Yo, he needs, he wants a nickname so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling y'all. Prep Plus, that's his nickname. <laughs> Yo, J-Bone, relax. Relax, J-Bone. J-Bone going too far. That's not my nickname, more. I liked it. I like Per Plus. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. That's cool. I don't sticks. think it's going to stick. It's like Per Plus, but... And if we vote against Prep Plus, my favorite part of that is the plus, so I would make you like C Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Not A Plus. No. It's already me. Like I mean, I'm, I'm passing. What is Barely. C? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know what, what passes. Um, so listen, Wale, Wale sold 35,000 records. Wally Week should, one. Wale should be independent. I'm going to hit the round of applause button for Wale. Yeah, yeah it's not, it's not, it's not a bad first It's respectable, for sure. And a really good album. Yeah, it just like, kills me when, like, the adjectives we use once we find out, like, the first week sales. Like, who the fuck are we? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> to say it's respectable. No. We a bunch of 14,000 first week. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't think we never, we as the public, the viewing public, we never yeah. have really enough information to know what's good or what's bad. I don't know where Wale likes to record. I don't know how much his producers cost. I don't know shit about what he spends on anything. I don't know what type of return 35000 gets you on a major. I don't know. I know that Wale fought really hard to get out of his last situation, and he did that. That's a huge feat within itself, so congratulations there. He then landed another major label opportunity, which is also a pretty difficult feat in itself. To have so many major label opportunities is a, t is a tall task. Yeah, and especially Wale, in this day and age. Wale has kind of managed to do that successfully. Mm -hmm. So I applaud him no matter what happens, because Wale, in my opinion, I could be wrong about this, has never been a priority uh, with MMG. Label? With MMG? Yes. With MMG, yes. <clears throat> and maybe Wale might say no. Maybe Wale might even feel like no. Maybe there was a, a When you point say you don't feel like he, he's not ago. a priority with MMG, what do you mean? No, I'm I would saying say with MMG. Oh, he is a priority. Yeah, I'm saying with the, the parent company, okay. I don't think they have ever treated Wale. Like a, okay. No, like, yeah, it's a major priority. Yeah. Like MMG is way. definitely a priority for sure. With am, I off, yeah. am I off in that, Vince? With MMG or with like I don't know No the parent companies Cause I don't think they treat nobody Like a priority Until it's too late mm. That's a fact Meaning like you when, mean? you, when you're already popping Then you gotta of show them you're That you're a priority, priority. Yeah basically. Yeah once you got a hit They'll, they'll be like Oh yeah 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 it, The whole building moves <laughs> exactly. behind you But this, like, what is a hit today? They don't know They gonna just guess And then they, if they do it They can't tell you How they did it so But what is the definition Of a hit today in Wale is not era? Wale is not Clickable because today you have to be a clickable artist, a clickable act. Meaning, when people see Wale's name, they're not going to be quick to click it. Which I is feel why what now, you're saying, though. Because it's is, like, when you think about people like Russ or Young Boy, like, they got the numbers, but we don't think about their songs to right. specifically be they clickable. They're doing. They doing more numbers than the ones we probably think it is. Every, every song Russ, every song Russ leak, he come back four days later and tell you it's gold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Minimal. And he's indie. Right or no? He's on a no, 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 no. Yeah. He's on uh, Columbia, okay, or Capital or something to start with a C. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's on one of them, one I, of them, I think. But uh, yeah, he come back and tell us it'd be gold at minimum. Columbia, Russ is on Columbia, but I don't know. I I I don't like to use Russ and certain people like that as an example because Russ is white. Mm -hmm. NBA young boy. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. 
every song is gold or platinum, and we don't cause we don't talk about them like they hits. And he one of the highest That's stream male too. artists on YouTube. Period. Got one of the most rabid fan bases. Got one of the youngest fan bases. His Clickable. fans go from like nine, ten years old to grown men. Okay, but stop right there, Vince. NBA Young Boy. See. NBA young boy, while I may not be so familiar with his music because I'm an old, washed, disconnected nigga, I'm familiar with him because he's a character. He's got plenty of personality and clickable. He kind of yeah, to your yeah, I guess that's to your point. You you gonna click on? He gonna make you click. Mm-hmm. He's gonna make you click, whether you know his music or not. So, yeah. but the music still do well, and we don't talk about it as being. Is he on label? I'm sure he is. He should mm-hmm. be. I'm pretty sure. Hey, Savon, look up uh, uh, NBA Youngboy. Let's look at uh, his situation. He just put out an album, I but, think. And he put out an album and but wait, weekend and, at 95. And but wait, that's mm. not fair either, Vince, because NBA Youngboy, he's I, on, would he's cla- on Atlantic. I would classify as, oh, okay, Atlantic gets a lot of them niggas that break all these streaming records and yes, they, <laughs> they yes, do they their should. streaming farm thing. But NBA Youngboy, Vince, is a newer act with some of these older acts like Wale. And I don't mean to say older act, but you know just what I'm saying. Just been around for a while. You have to battle consumer fatigue. No, yeah, but I was just saying... Um, and these even. newer niggas get to skip that. Like, when, when Lotus Flower Bomb and all that shit was going off, I would, I would say that that is parallel to what you're saying about NBA Youngboy and his records with the streaming and all that shit. I think part of this Wale shit is, yeah, after that, seven years later, what are we doing? I think that's a different conversation because your first question was, you know, what's a hit? And... It's really up in the air because you got an artist like I thought we were not use him as an example because he's somebody that has a fan base. He has a notable name. He's clickable and all these things. Plus his music also does very well. But we don't speak about it as if it's one of these hits. Actually, that's a great example that we use NBA YoungBoy because Wale was on Atlantic. Yeah, and hated it. Uh, I'll, I'll rewind back to uh, I always go back to when Lupe was on Atlantic. And he hated it because that was a big, big, uh, I learned a lot about disputes in that. But, Mm -hmm. so if you're not a priority on Atlantic is what I'm saying, then you probably would feel that way. But if you are a priority, don't you get the advantage of all of your songs streaming and XYZ and all the shit you're saying about NBA Youngboy? Who else is on Atlantic? Uh, Cardi. Uzi. What I'm saying, if you're on Atlantic, he the fifth priority. He ain't at the top and he doing the numbers. But he would be know. behind Kodak. He would be behind you Uzi. Get what I'm saying? He would uh, be behind Cardi. My guy Ed Sheeran. You get what I'm We're saying? Not talking about that, Rory. He's a priority at Atlantic. Yeah, that's it. Is that Bruno <laughs> Mars? Yeah, Bruno's on Atlantic. Lizzo on Atlantic. Yeah, but so. I'm not talking about all that hybrid R and B shit. I'm talking about the rappers. I don't. I mean, I who's feel more of a priority at, at Atlantic, Meek or uh, NBA YoungBoy? Meek. All right, so that puts NBA YoungBoy around fifth. Oh shit! And a boogies over there. Yeah. He streams great. Yeah. He's clickable. They're good with their streams over at Atlantic, man. They're great. Yeah. RCA is great with music. <laughs> Probably the best, in my opinion. Epic is great at marketing. Uh, They're great at marketing superstars. They're like the old Def Jam. You know, it's you say that. By old, I, feel by old like, I mean like 2010 Def no, Jam. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm with you here. They're great I, at marketing stars. I don't know how good they are at developing talent. I feel like all of the labels that exist today, I could spot a large part of Prime Def Jam in them. Absolutely. Well, they have they have all their employees. Right. <laughs> it's just the same. It's the same crew. They're just at a different label. They all played musical chairs and left. Yeah, that makes sense. We ain't gonna see another thing like that. Def Jam. No. They need a doc on that. Like, really think about that. They had a run for a Rockefeller long time. was in that building. <laughs> Disturbing Ruff, the Peace was in that building. Rough Riders. Good, good Rough music. Riders was there. It's fucking uh, Murder, Murder Inc. Inc. was there. Good was there. Now, outside of that... Uh, you, you also have Rihanna. MMG was kind of there. Yeah, Wu-Tang. Oh, was Cash sorry. Cash is on Atlantic? <laughs> you be loving the Cashes. I don't know who the fuck Cash Cash is. <laughs> <laughs> Did that drop NBA Youngboy down a spot? <laughs> yeah, like uh, Cash Cash got to be But a when priority. I'm talking about Def Jam, I guess I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about the behind the scenes people that kind of make the magic run. To have Gabby, Kaiser, Julie, Lior, Kev. Kevin, uh, Jay-Z, Shakir, <laughs> fucking, yeah. Who else? Scarface. L.A. <laughs> They've had everybody, but at once, but at one time, they house all of those powerful executives. Well, that's what I'm saying. Now all, Atlantic kind of became 
Lior took everyone over to Atlantic. And they left Atlantic, but a lot of them stayed in Atlantic. Yeah. No, no. Deeper, darker. Um, why don't Vince, how many records, right? This is what I want to ask. If your ceiling, your ceiling has to be what as a major label act for it to just make sense for you to get the fuck off of there and go to Empire and, and finally make some money. <laughs> Like um, honestly, because I, I think, do. When I you, think a lot of people use it, you know, as a paycheck. I guess use what the label, because you got to look at who's signing these deals. You know what I'm saying? Like when you look at the kids that's kind of really sticking to it, it looked like kids that need the money. Because mm. I know when I was 17, and you know, they was like, "Oh, here's a hundred thousand dollars." I wasn't gonna be like, "No." Yeah. <laughs> Right. Oh yeah, nah. Like oh, that that masterpiece shit is cool, but like, you gotta understand, like, it's not really even a time and place for that no more. In the sense of in these kids' head, because like, everything is so immediate, and everything gotta happen right now, and we so sensitized, desensitized to me to like um, looking past ourselves. Because like, all right, for sure, if I'm a if I'm a 15 year old, 16 year old kid from the hood, and I'm a rapper, and I'm getting a little bit of attention, how am I gonna tell myself to wait and be patient when X Temptation just got shot? Or when, you know, Lock Upon just got shot or when any of these people that end up losing their life or going to jail, like Melly in jail for double murder. How could you tell me to be patient and try to figure out the long run with like an independent labeling, you know, get more money? And you know what I mean? Even down to a, a, an effect of how, how it went down with Nipsey. So it's like a lot of these kids that signing these deals, them is the ones like we don't really talk about, even though they, they do have deals, but like, when you speak about, you know, people signing deals, you're not talking about the rusts of the lodges. We really talking about, you know, these young kids who have something special that, you know, could be taken advantage of. Because I don't really think nobody can take advantage of Logic. You know, I mean, just from how I know him, I don't think nobody can take advantage of Russ just from watching how dude, smart he's the way he speaks. That's your dude right there? Who, Logic? Hey, we we did a show, and he said some shit, and I was like, you you a different type of dude. Like he, he really making a lot of money. Like a lot, a lot of money. Oh, no, he's making a lot of money. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, a fact. So. That's big facts. But like, <laughs> it's planned out. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm, I need this much in this point of time, so I'm going to go here, 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 and here with it, and I'm going to get this money from this industry. And he just made doing a lot of shit nobody know he's doing. And it's like, I know for a fact, when I was 17, 18, 19, I got a record deal, I was like, oh, for sure, I'm going to um, take this money and get a place to live and a car for my mama and some guns. Cause it's cracking right now. It's like that's literally all I did. With, that's no, for real. That's all I did with my with my Def Jam money. When the doctor first got that money, I bought some guns. I got my mama one bedroom apartment for me, her, and my sister, and one of the homies I was staying with us. And I and I fixed the transmission on her uh, Toyota Avalon. Yo, that's how Priorities. I knew. That's how I knew I was like Republican Joe and guns. recently. Cause I, I got I got like I think it's when we was on tour and I was like making money for real. Mm. <laughs> that tour money's nice. I can't yeah. wait for our little Christmas shows. Baltimore, Baltimore <laughs> Philly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, listen, December seventh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. about the show. Yeah, no, no, no. It's happening. We are in Baltimore <laughs> and Philadelphia, December seventh and eighth. We in a few more places, but we have yet to announce, so I won't do Baltimore that here. Baltimore is damn near sold out. I cannot wait to see. Don't tell them that. Don't tell them that parks because no, uh, because we can make the room bigger. And if the oh. room gets bigger, I'm going to tell them to keep selling the tickets. So oh, if yeah, you're yeah. in Baltimore and you want a ticket, just keep buying the tickets. Pay attention to my Twitter. I'll tell you when we're going to stop selling the tickets. All right. Uh, and shout out to Philadelphia and Baltimore because I, I, just, I just know what them type of shows are going to feel like. Absolutely. I know what it's going to look like. Those are two of my favorite cities. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love just cities with the shit. Yeah. yeah. Yo, you know our live podcast don't really go off in L.A., man. No, it does, it's but packed. it's just it's different. Crowd. No, no, it's yeah. always sold out. Yeah. yeah, always sold out. It's but just a weird crowd. Yeah, yeah it's a different energy. Why is that now? Uh, shout my shows like that too. I don't know. What, I don't know what to tell you. Because <laughs> niggas nah, is I, high and they just chilling, yeah, man. They or just, they paranoid. Yeah. I went to your New York show at Hammerstone. Oh yeah, that was a good show. Was you crazy. had all the wild white kids going nuts. Yeah, I was be, terrified. Yeah, they be, <laughs> I don't know who Vince is on. You was one of the wild white boys going nuts. All the white, the whites fucking with you. No, it was a great fucking show. I was, I was Earl scared. Hype Man. What you mean? <laughs> I was Earl Sweatshirt Hype Man for two, three years. The white people is there. They're not going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, yeah. You from that family tree. But See, I don't really, look at Vince like that. I, I look but, at yeah, Vince like Vince. Really, but I didn't really know them. Like, I knew them, but so polite to say, like, I met them and I knew them for three months and then they blew up and they was gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, we wasn't really. 
I was like one of the only features that Earl had when mm. he was younger. So I didn't make when, when they left. I was like 15, 16 probably. I didn't make. I didn't put a mixtape out until oh, I was like eighteen, shit. nineteen years old. Oh, future well, abandoned you. They didn't know me. Nigga. Like, <laughs> they didn't know me. You, know what you I'm wasn't saying? in the future. <laughs> oh man, you, t- I, like, you wasn't. Them, who wasn't odd enough for them? I knew, I knew them through other people. Like we was never really cool. So what, nigga? I'm painting a narrative, nigga. So I'm trying to clean it up. Oh, they dumped this nigga on his head. Oh man, fucking Frank. <laughs> now he wasn't around back then. Oh yeah, because he dumped uh, them he niggas. Pre pre Frank. Yeah, he wasn't around back yeah, then. Yeah, Frank dumped them. Pre Lonnie. He was always on his own little thing. He oh, all I know is they knew every lyric. That nigga had show. Justin Bieber plaques at his house, like on the ground. Who Frank? Yeah, his cousin. His cousin was my homie. We said he used to. I used to help him bag up his weed, and he used to do it at his cousin's house. And this nigga just had plaques like stacked in the corner. <laughs> like, they, like they didn't matter And it's like What's like wrong that. with this nigga I fuck, I, I fuck with Frank This I nigga think. be in the house Like right You know you walk in the house You gotta speak to him This nigga just be like Sitting on the couch With like a wife beater And a do-rag on like Watching TV Like what do you do With your life My nigga like <laughs> How you got this house Right, like, right oh, hits nigga. for Justin Yeah we're a songwriter Frank It sounds got, like a songwriter Frank, Frank got a lot of money too man yeah. Yeah, Oh he man, definitely do it. That's the homie man. <laughs> Why you think we not Getting an album Or ever see him Yeah we're He's rich <laughs> It's a lot of musicians Rich today man Like like real, not lying like we was. <laughs> not renting yeah, everything. Yeah, not real, the song fits five. They the song that did fit five. They they what'd you say? Nothing, man. Keep going. Yeah. What'd you say, Barney? The song the song that fits five. A lot of leg room. <laughs> lot, lot of leg, lot of leg room yo, in the yo, sauna. Clint, I didn't say five people were in there. I said <laughs> I said the sauna fits yes. five comfortably. We got it. Plenty leg room. We got it. <laughs> I never want to say plenty leg room <laughs> in a verse ever. I'm so whack. Oh my god. <laughs> One day we gotta do the list of the dopest whack niggas. I'm on that list too. <laughs> you, you number three again? <laughs> For sure. Back at number three. <laughs> my bad. I went, too, I went too far. I went too far. I understand. Um. I was having a good conversation. What, what were we, uh, we were talking about? about we were talking about our future shit. dumping this nigga and oh. blowing up. <laughs> Leaving this nigga to sit with us with a fucking hoodie on. <laughs> Freezing his ass yeah. off in New York. <laughs> you, don't, you don't feel like you got snuff Earl now? Nah. That, Y'all still kick it? Nigga, he was in boot camp. He wasn't there. That's the nigga I knew. He was gone. You know what I'm saying? That nigga went to boot camp. Niggas blew up. He came back three years later. What you been doing? Gang banging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you was my only hope. <laughs> oh man, God damn man, you better start that button down shit. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh wait, my headphones. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, again. All right. Oh. Man, that was that was informative. No, back to our original conversation. I guess you telling me from the perspective of the artist, and I understand that. What I'm saying is, any artist on a major, the major ain't looking to see back 20k. <laughs> No. 25K. Yeah, no. But kinda, so as an artist... That's the only reason why I said Wale should be in As an artist, you got to know... It wasn't a diss. It's your job to know what your label is expecting of you as well. <laughs> mm-hmm. And if we ain't breaking 40, and who the fuck am I to judge this? I'm, I'm nobody. Right. But that number, I guess, will be 40 for me. Yeah. Independent for what, what is amazing. The, what, what is that number f- for y'all? Where if that is the ceiling... Then I'm going indie. I'm not. I'm not just doing. This. Uh, I'm not doing this. Well, it also depends on how much the album cost and what the budget was. Yeah, but not even though, because if you're only getting back fifteen yeah, percent of the if bread, cap regardless, is forty no matter what. Regardless, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. I think it's more to it though, for the simple fact that it's like, okay, I never sold more than twenty thousand records. Really. Time out. First week, right? Different. Yeah. Yeah, but but no. But what I'm saying is. Use that, you know, the market and all these other things, and then don't sign no janky deal. And then if I do 10 shows in two weeks, I made more than if I sold, I went triple platinum. Well, and that's what I'm about, but that's why I say yeah, it's, cause that's, but that's why I say it's different because yeah. you and listen, y'all, y'all knew, the y'all new younger crop, like, man, y'all got it good, man. You could basically just be a festival act for how long and, and make a great amount of money. Fuck mm-hmm. music. Because selling selling twenty k first week and then selling out Hammerstein on your NY show, and that's you're, what I, you're fine. And that's my <laughs> like, point, uh, Vince, about consumer. That's fatigue. a big room no, because these you. festivals, they kind of want to see y'all new niggas. They don't want to see my old ass jumping around. <clears throat> Pump it up with you, all right? I think I think. Pump it up would always do it right, but somebody would have to bring me out to do it because you're not gonna book me to do pump it up, and I don't get along with people saying they're not gonna bring me out to do pump it up. <laughs> it's also a market. It's also a marketplace thing, though, right? So market like, share or marketplace? Nah, it's like a different marketplace. So, like, say you 
you can you might not be able to do it out here, but you can go to Australia and New Zealand every year from December to February and come back with an easy four five hundred thousand dollars for an older act. Like it's it's because that's everything. That's a fact. Broke yeah. broke listeners out there. He doesn't mean an easy. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, he means oh, it easy. Yeah, but I mean, but I mean, like, just as far as like, so the first I went to Splash um, Fest a couple years ago, and uh, where's Roy, that? It's in uh, I think Norway. It's, it's in that, that part of Europe. Got it. Yeah. It was Prime was the headliner, like, and um, it's getting to the point now. And then after after that, we played again. It was Push the T, and everybody there was older dudes. And now it's just now. Last year was the first year I saw like. Lil Pump and like you know people like that so it's like Man. these markets it's markets out there but it's just a matter of getting there so sometimes a person might look at a label and be like okay I can get label support to help front the front end of the tours I can get label support to help get the PR firms and things like that I, I get exactly what you're saying but you could talk yourself into it if you look deep enough because they got so many resources and then it's like the co- it's not just about the resources it's the cost of the resources so if these resources cost if a PR firm is going to want $5,000 a month or $1,000 a month, that's still a lot of fucking money. And I'm, I'm going to tell any new good. and I'm going to tell any new act that is sitting home considering hiring the PR firm that you're a lazy fuck. If you are a new act and you feel like you have to save up money or or allocate money to the PR for, firm, you need to get on top of your P's and Q's. But we was talking about older acts. Yes. An older act can't sit on Instagram all day. They can't sit on. T- it's not gonna look right. You gonna look yeah. like you're trying to be a young nigga. So, mm-hmm. the, uh, yeah, yo, that's, see, that's fucked up too. These niggas got it good, man. <laughs> He's right. No, but like for real, I'm I'm 26, right? If I got on Instagram Live all day, I would look boof as hell, nigga. I'm too old for that shit. So mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure someone in their 30s or you know, <clears> going for a long time is gonna kind of look crazy. So like, I I can understand it. And, but. and the outlets that the older acts are trying to get to still live in that PR world that mattered. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They still they still want Rolling Stone. They still want exactly. Yeah. Which which that. requires that's probably the only part of the world that requires a publicist. Yeah, now, how I do don't think the new acts it? really need it. Yeah, young kids don't really need it. No, at all. But you still kind of do. You still do. It depends on how big you want to get. Yeah, if you it depends it's on where. It's it's not for the book and it's for the cleanup. Yeah, it depends on where you want to land. You can't if, clean shit up by yourself. You're not getting in the, in the Times, the Rolling signed, Stone. Yeah. If you're signed to a label with their PR department, you don't need an additional one. Oh, they have all the connect. I I think that if you're doing, but some, if all you want to do is the regular, re- some of them are real bad though. So oh, I'm saying if some, if, if but they can happen, still get that Breakfast Club Hot 97 run that that the like new I acts said, try it's to not get. About that, it's about the cleanup. Facts. So you got to think of who these young kids is. They might make a mistake along the way. The label not gonna clean up. They just gonna disassociate themselves from you. Mm. Mm. So a PR firm, they job is to clean it up. Yeah. Right. So it's it's it's. It's different things that you could. I'm just saying from things that older people have to deal with. Mm-hmm. But as far as a young nigga, man, you can do whatever you want. Just you know, don't kill nobody. And that's what or maybe do that, that kind of be their <laughs> shit. That's their rollout. <laughs> I'm stuck on that line. I'm stuck on that shit he, that he just said. That's interesting, man. Which part? Um, yeah, it's tough being an older nigga in hip hop today because you do need to kind of. Be you need to engage. You need to have that be accessible a little bit. There's pros need, and cons. That's just the new. That's the new there way. There is of... no way to be on. He's right. There is no way to be on. I may be the only nigga that could do that. Now there's some. There's you some do older. Like a Truman Show, a 24 hours a day. I'm on, I'm here. Yeah. There's am. some older acts that do Instagram in a cool way. Will Smith. But they don't need a, they don't need a new fan base to sell their record. They right. just being themselves. Yeah. yeah. If you need to reach out to people and get to and get people to go to these shows and get these records, that's one of the difference. Styles P can get on Instagram all day, and I'm gonna see everything he fucking do because he's Styles P, and I, right. I care. Right. But if you're speaking about somebody who might not have that kind of fan base or that kind of legacy, and they still trying to eat. Right. It's it's, it's a hard it's hard to kind of. It looks crazy. But how, crazy. Crazy. But how crazy. many old niggas are in that box? Because I, I would I would put which, more which of them the, in the Styles P box. How well, many of the old niggas need to? Well, that's a lot of the older Styles acts. Has anybody who came out on. with Kendrick and J Cole and all of them because they're not young no more. Anybody who came out at that point in time is older, more established act. Anybody that came out with Wiz Khalifa is an older, more established act. Mm-hmm. So it's like they they in the middle of that Styles P, Nori. Um, but what I'm saying, any of the older acts that these, didn't leave but, with a core fan base is has to struggle and do. But that. what I'm saying is these people that you naming, like whoever came out around that time. In my opinion, I could be wrong. Most of them popped. Most of that Wiz Mac Miller 2008 
2008 to 2012. The blog era. Yeah. Who's struggling from that era? I mean, I There's some that are out there. I don't know who's struggling. Make it, but, I don't know but, but, struggling. But you got to think about how many people make music. It's not that everybody makes music. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like it might be somebody in Texas that we never heard about that was right on the cusp of that that's got to try to figure it out because if you, the thing is, if you Styles P or you any of the other people, you don't got to really worry about it. Like even with the Wale thing, like Wale don't got to worry about it. Wale is like the first rapper. I didn't even know it was rappers from DC before or that area before Wale was a rapper. So nice. he got a whole. Yeah. Global impact that he probably don't even think about like that. It's like Drake in Toronto, like mm-hmm. it's it's certain things, but it's like it's hard to think about it from their perspective because you don't know nobody pockets. So it might look like they pop, but they might have missed certain windows to do certain things. So if they miss certain windows to certain things, like it's acts as big as hell that you never see a tour flyer from. It's people that got hits that never do shows. It's probably not. It's not because they don't want to. They probably can't. Because mm-hmm. nobody gonna turn down that much money, <clears throat> right? Or they don't know that it's available. Really, they don't well, have anybody that's working for them to open those lanes for them. Because I've seen that before too. I've seen older acts that could definitely be touring and doing a lot of shit, moving merch, all that type mm-hmm. of shit that you should be doing. That don't because they don't really know how to get in that lane. But I don't think it's as yeah. much older as it is the people in between. What we we'll talking about? Because you tell them like, oh man, y'all should do a. Uh, I just I don't know a locks reunion tour. They probably just probably don't feel like they're probably not thinking about it. But somebody beneath that don't got nothing to a reunion. You know what I mean? They don't got. It's not. It's it's a, it's a weird sweet spot between that shit because it's like yeah. you got to think it's a whole era of musicians who grew up in a point in time to where they were looking at things go a completely kind of cookie cutter way, and then as soon as they pop, all of that changed. So imagine growing up your whole life like man. I can't wait to get in the CD store and, you know, do this and get on this magazine cover. Oh, we don't sell music or read no more. <laughs> Word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Oh, that's depressing. I told your ass not to come in here with this depressing <laughs> bullshit. I'll tell you that much, buddy. I was just hanging out with y'all. Y'all gave me a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> that you did say you didn't want to come with the that's podcast. Right. And yeah. that's why I fuck with Vince, and man. He called and said, yo, I fuck with y'all. So I just want to come hang out. <laughs> yeah. I don't think nobody else calls me like that. I like that, though. I, like those, I like those people way more than the... Let, let's do something. Let's yeah, link and build. Let's link and build. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, build. No, let's hang out and, and record let's figure it. it out from there. Why that can't be Rory's nickname, Lincoln Build? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, his shit. And your Spell grandfather Lincoln. did link and build. He did. So that, that nah, is a fact. It's kind of hereditary now. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my DNA. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll take it. Oh, shit. I've been, I've been prep plus. This thing up all prep. Day. <laughs> Anything is better than Prep Plus. I kind of like the Prep Plus and C Plus. <laughs> I'm only playing this because Vince got me all fucking sad and depressed with his fucking. I hate when he does this. <laughs> his reality. Like, you know, such an, yeah, talking to him because he see, sees things clearly. It yeah. makes me hate hip hop more than I do. Mm. Do you hate? No, you hate the music business. You don't hate hip hop. Yeah, not yeah. hip hop. Yeah, not hip hop. Hate the music business. Unfortunately, unfortunately, those lines are blurred now mm. between hip hop and the music business, and it's like all. Jumboed in together. Actually, cut this shit off real quick because I am sick to my stomach watching everybody with this Takashi Doc shit. Oh, yeah, it's getting nasty. I don't even want to now. I, and there is really nothing to talk about because there's nothing to be said about it. Just if you really under, if you, if you just understand all of this shit, to see all to see five different companies like piranhas. I'm sink, tired. I'm tired. Sinking their teeth, and and that's when I and that's when I get get upset because when you just introduce monetization into mo, uh, monetization, right? yeah. monetization into anything, like uh, I'm, tired, I'm tired of it all, bro. Like I, 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 I I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking, but it's nasty. What is this now? Showtime, Snapchat, fifty. Was well, the Showtime complex. one the same as the Complex one? No. Okay. Complex so one is the same as Snapchat. There we go. That's what I was thinking of. All right. Showtime is something totally different. Whatever 50 is doing is totally different. And there's one more that I'm leaving out. And they all plan on doing a Takashi doc. Now, I won't kill him too much because, listen, I will say it's been an interesting story. So yes. I could see everybody wanting to tell it. But why don't I just feel like it's all nasty? Because it is. It is. 
But it's not surprising. And that's all I got. That's yeah, all I got. It's not yeah, something it's, I'm it's, looking it's at like, oh, shit. I'm tired of this Yeah, it's, it's nothing to stay on there unless somebody's going to add some new shit. What I will say, they gave Mel Murder 11 years, mm-hmm. um, 132 months or 35 months down from the max he was uh, uh, eligible for, which was 167 months or some shit like that. Uh, so, not bad if you're Mel Murder. I don't know him. So, the whole, whole thing is... Good the whole for thing is nasty. Stay away from the murders. <laughs> Stay away from the murder family. <laughs> I, I don't know whether to say it's a good thing or a bad thing, but did y'all see? Um, did y'all hear Kanye's rant at uh, Howard? I did. I missed it. Another one? Well, yeah, he was talking about. <laughs> Just letting Howard know that the Republican Party is the party that freed the slaves. I think the students at Howard know that. Cause said. If they gonna start throwing a slave nest again, let's not all stand in one place. And then he dropped the beat. I did see that. <laughs> and everyone, I saw the and everyone in the, in the crowd, back, like, everyone in the crowd was like, "Ooh, that was really see, deep." I don't like when you come here because <laughs> I know what saying nothing after that means. <laughs> it's like, and I agree. But Vince, I'll be honest with you, and I'm not starting a Kanye conversation because I'm off of it. Like they already feel like I hate that nigga, and I can't give an objective opinion. But it's because of how I feel about that. That's nastiness. Maybe I just articulated wrong, or maybe niggas just don't care because the beats is that hard. But that wasn't nasty but at jo- Howard. But Joe, on it one was hand, only four niggas. That was- but what if Kanye is using it, using this as because we all come together for music, right? We all come together for these events. And that's it's what, like, what, that's if this what is- makes me think it's demonic, Mo. But but because I, I think I, he knows the power in. Music and how music but liberates. Not, but is he, is but he spreading I don't, hate? I, I don't think he's spreading hate. Yes. Is he? No, he just misspeaking. How is he spreading hate? I don't think he's spreading hate. I don't think I don't think Kanye is a bad person. Me neither. So I don't, I don't no, see. I don't, I don't so he know wouldn't him. be spreading hate. I just think that people are kind of. You can you can spread hate. You can spread hate and not be hateful or a bad person. They're misinformed. Right? Because so when you're when more you, dangerous than when you continuously sing the praises of Trump. Mm-hmm. Combined with liberating black people, mm-hmm. combined with getting voters to, to the voting booth, mm-hmm. yeah, you can spread you can spread a hateful message even if it's not yours. Mm-hmm. I guess that's that's what I'm saying. So so when he says prime example, more he mm-hmm. says the republic he goes to Howard uh, and says the Republicans uh, freed the slaves, which is true. Mm-hmm. However, why are you not getting into the role reversal of the parties and what the Republicans stood for? But like, why are you Tell avoid the story? Yeah, because, so it's because, a, it's a misleading message. Well, Kanye, Kanye understands, and that whole family understands clickable shit, clickbait, one liners that Gary V. Something. Tell you cut through the noise, find it, a way to cut through the noise. Just a one sentence that will cause a reaction with no explanation. That's all he's doing. Vince, I forgot about the he dropped the beat part. I guess that's the part that's like a slap in the face. <laughs> the meme, well, it was it was an acapella, but he just like like just put the mic down and looked in the crowd. The shit was hilarious. I'm sorry, I understand that it's like a serious matter, but that shit had me dying. They had the slave memes, like of people running from nets. Like you could just search slave net and put it on the screen. Just search slave nets. It was crazy. Why don't all the black people not stand in the same place? Come on, Mo. I get, listen, I, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I, just, I'm just asking. But I see, to me, because Kanye be is such a... I get what he'd be trying he to say. He was just saying, let's right. not all think alike. Let's I, all think I, get, I understand it. Because right. I, I understand what he's but saying. I understand it. It was funny as hell. You got to see it. But when somebody going to say this nigga, yo, you saying that wrong. <laughs> right. I see what you're saying. I think Van did that. I was going to say, Van <laughs> Van did his best. Yeah. He didn't and, listen. Like, articulately explained exactly what he was doing. And he was like, yo, I just want a hug. I was like, all right, you didn't listen to a word I just said. <laughs> all right, I'm off for Kanye. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, I'm cool. Let's talk about uh, buying Tiger Bomb from the gas station and getting a headache when you try to apply it to your dick. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd rather talk about they Kanye. They don't do that in L.A.? I'd rather talk about Kanye. Let's stay, <laughs> no. let's stay right on Kanye. <laughs> they don't sell nothing Yo. in the gas station in L.A. that you can apply to your dick to uh, add more pleasure to the ladies? 
I mean, like, dick all tales? you niggas do is gangbang, man. Y'all niggas gotta get more recreational. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas Ain't don't tiger. do a fucking thing but kill and shoot. Ain't Tiger Bomb like for like when you got like a sore knee at the yeah, baseball game? I think so. so. Tiger Bomb is like Chef like for the like, chef like, lips he's some like, sore joints. He's talking about Tiger Bomb. That's what that's what you oh, uh, J Bone. No, nah, isn't that the shit that Nori be drinking? That's the same shit, yeah. It's oh no, like that's, that shit is real. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They got the little Lamar Odom pills in the Oh well you twenty six, so you're dick. <laughs> that's all we got. Wait, that's Lamar, what the yo, says on yo, the back of the pills crack. in the window. <laughs> and don't stay away from that. <laughs> Did dick be hard for four days? Yeah, I forget this nigga's fucking thirteen, so he ain't got to go buy nothing from a gas station. You just gotta go vegan, bro. How do gangbangers bad girls? It depends where you're from. Scared. Like, do y'all tell them you're set? It depends where you're from. <laughs> Fam, and I was just embarrassed about telling a, telling girls that my nickname was Mouse. These <laughs> these, these niggas is. <laughs> it, de- it depends on. It sometimes it's better to tell them you 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 just like a regular person. And sometimes you could be like, oh, yeah, I'm from here. And they could be like, oh, he got some money. But sometimes like, oh, they kill people. Because mm. everybody don't kill people, but sometimes niggas kill people. And then that's like, <laughs> you ain't even want to let nobody know. Like, well, when I first met all of them, I didn't even tell them I was from Long Beach. Like, the feature motherfuckers, I was like, yeah, I stay right over here. <laughs> <laughs> I stay right over here. Right there. Where are you from? Over here. Yeah, over here. Mm. Or do gangbangers like, like gangbanger chicks? Nah, that's how you get like set up or like jump. They set you up. You might get shot in the back of the head in like a car going to pick her up. <laughs> I'm too paranoid to be in a gang. I swear to God. <laughs> nah, bro. It's, it's, yes. really, it's really not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's the right, right message. I'm sorry. Right. That's, not a selling point. that's not a selling point, man. That's not that bad. You just get shot in the back of your head going to get some check in. You can never but say that so, on butt so, down. It's so rare. <laughs> like, on butt down yeah. with Vince. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna be like, this, this how, the how you know about that? Down. No, it's not. This is a horrible <laughs> rollout. They gonna call you. Um, wait, <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. Let's see what else is important. Here? Uh, I watched the Jada Kiss, uh, the Jada Kiss short, uh, short me film. Yeah, me. How was it? He had, uh, he had, uh, it was good. Yeah, it was good. He had the, the white actor from all the gangster movies that I don't know his name, but Tommy. Mm-hmm. He's Tommy. no. <laughs> It's not Tommy. This Hold is, on, y'all really This is the first that Tommy. Show? This is the original Tommy. Power? Uh, y'all really watched that? We have to. Yeah. 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 Six years I'm invested, bro. That's I'm, crazy. You don't watch Power? <laughs> I was in a barbershop and a homie was, was playing it on the screen and I was just, I don't understand how you can watch that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's it's pretty bad. Yeah. Like, it's great bad. It's great bad. I didn't see the beginning. <clears throat> you know, so the first season it, does, it kind of doesn't matter. I'm watching. It a, I'm watching the episode, and then he got the little body. They got the, the white dude got a black baby, and they at the jewelry <laughs> store, and then my like get domed, and it's like it's all over. This season is all over the place. Trust me. My girl, we watch this. Some of the worst. You watch some of the worst. Sammy saying the same shit to me. Like, it's, fam, this is what you, you stop yeah, everything what, you're doing. But to what kind of camera do they use? A 5D An iPhone, An iPhone. <laughs> That shit look like It's on IMAX Like it's just too clean For like the, what's going on Yeah <laughs> yeah. This, no I, I think that, I think that's this year though They using something Different this year Cause when he was Shooting that Proctor And all that shit That shit was starting To look like a Marvel movie And why did they Put a bag over the dude head While he's sitting In the office chair It's like they was Just watching oh, yeah. movies And was like We gonna do this And we gonna do that <laughs> That's exactly what they was doing. They put the bag over sex, and then they, yeah. and then they talked about it, and they was going to kill him, but Tommy had owed nah, him a owe favor. Me, nah, nah owed you him owe a favor. me. Yeah, that's all it was. They owed him. <laughs> I didn't mean to fuck. Like Lamar. Give. Y'all should watch Snowfall. We, we, we watch Snowfall. We got a way better show than y'all got Snowfall going on. Snowfall is phenomenal. Oh, wait. Y'all, yo, you still trying nah, don't to bring do that. L.A. Don't do versus no, no, New no, York, I right? Don't do that, because Godfather Harlem is right there. Don't do that. Nah, the Wu Tang show is, is okay. Up there too. Yeah, let's, so yeah, so, sure, so sure. backtrack. Nah, don't try to come back, said. nigga. But Fuck like, out of here. If you come with like your violent show, it's like <laughs> <laughs> I ain't yeah. picking that violence. And wait, and listen, and this is probably a bad time because I'm I'm supporting more on this argument. The third episode of Godfather Harlem, they try to they try they they get in they get in the story story mode mm-hmm. now. Yeah. And while I love it, damn, I wanted some of that from one and two still. What the action? Yeah, it was man. a little bit of action in three, though. Yeah, yeah. But, but, at some but it point, was more of a story. At though. some point, they're gonna show me Malcolm Wyland. So, <laughs> pause. You know, um, damn. I, pause, pause, pause. You know, Big Dick Buster works at One Oak. <laughs> He's a security. At I One don't Oak. know nothing about One Oak. 
I don't know nothing about Big Dick Buster. <laughs> no, I said I don't know why you ran to One Oak. <laughs> no, because I was in Wait, One Oak Big last Dick week. Buster. Is he working in the nail salon? <laughs> no, Joe. Right. I was in One Oak last week, and I saw him standing there. Say, Vaughn, don't judge me. How, how did you? How did you <laughs> greet him? Is he Korean? How, how did you greet him? Come on, <laughs> don't do that, Rory. <laughs> but, well, I bagged me some big nick 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 by mistake. Well, <laughs> oh, we should have stayed. We should have stayed on Kanye. <laughs> we should have stayed. On Kanye. Yo, get that. No, no, no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Nah, that's the vibe. We're, we're, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Like that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. No, I'm going to come out on this couple of podcasts. <laughs> please don't. Do. Nah, do please, it. Please don't. Don't, please. If that's how you feel, Joe, we're here for you. We'll you support you. To- Yes. Yeah, thank you, Park. More yeah. willing to suppress myself if that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Please suppress, don't. Yeah. Nah, no, live, nigga. Live your truth. I'm straight, nigga. No, but he uh <laughs> but the dude works. Don't try ignore me. You hear me? I hear you. All right, go ahead. The dude works. Now in, tell uh, us about Big Dick Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. That you that you linked at Look, One Oak. Viz got, a, Viz got a phone call as soon as Big Dick Buster came. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Vince take a picture under the I was here at what's the one oak sign? I ain't never been to the club in my life. Vince, get out. <laughs> get, you gotta get the fuck. You never been in the club. I told these gangbangers don't know how to have fun. You never been in no club? Nah. I don't drink. So? I don't drink either. But I wanna be in a dark room with a bunch you of smoke? drunk niggas. Nah, I don't smoke. What if there's women there? They everywhere. <laughs> He's got a point. Everywhere. They're half the population. You can fit you can find a way better like situation to try to find a woman at. Like go to the bank. No, I mean, no, at three tell, in the morning? No, nah, they're right. closed. You go to the bank at three in the morning with that hoodie on. Go to the bank at three in the morning with that hoodie on to see how much you get. <laughs> yeah. See what happens to you. <laughs> Wait. So what do you do? Wait at what do you three do for in the like morning. Fun? Who, me? Yeah. Vince don't have what's, fun. What's your I'll advice? Be, I be at work. Besides buying See, guns with Def Jam money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, man, I was, a, I was a teenager, you know what I mean? I, I've learned from that. I caught a couple of cases and I changed my life. Good, Good my for you, Vince. Reason. I like it. Good well, for they you, ain't expunged it, expunge it, but I, I just got to get the judge to sign it, but I got it granted. Mm. So, not not a go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, He's familiar. On. He's familiar with that. <laughs> Almost yeah. there. Yeah, because that's when we got to start paying attention. Wait, when is it expunged? Wait. <laughs> Wait, what I got to do? Yeah. So I know when I can speed. <laughs> all right, so, all right. Now, nah, I can do that. That'll get off of there. <laughs> Damn, I wonder how my jacket looks. You might be good Pink. now, right? I'm sure there's something on there. Something from 07. DV. <laughs> nah. All right, it's Kanye. Yeah. Was that how? That was crazy. That was, he, was, he was. Actually, DV is not on my shit. That's that court of public opinion shit, just sticking something to you for the rest of your life. Yep. So Kanye was in D.C. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> you think he went to New Vegan? Y'all ever been to New Vegan? Who? New Vegan in D.C. No. So, uh, what is that? No. The it's restaurant? The bat- yeah, it's fire. It's crazy. I got vegan soul food. Vince, well, where does your brain go when you just blur this shit out? Like, how he said you- Kanye was in D.C. Oh, Y'all, okay, you right, said you don't gotcha. want to talk about Kanye, gotcha. but I know you be Vince healthy. Vince is too smart to be a rapper. Like... You I need dropped, another. I didn't, go, I, didn't, I didn't go to school. I wanted to go to college real bad. Well, you was but in I didn't a gang, it. niggas. <laughs> no, you didn't. This gang's, are you, are this you gang's in, in college. Yeah. Where? Gang, man? No, I'm course, not talking about Rory's little Greek gang. <laughs> I'm talking about real niggas. <laughs> I ain't talking about what the <laughs> dancing gang. <laughs> you talking about the dancing gang? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> talking about Rory's little I, I mean, niggas Insta be dancing, gang. though. Everybody, everybody dance. Every, n- I don't dance, but niggas got dancers for No, y'all gang's dances is different from Rory's dance. cool. No, I loved your homies, but I don't know if Ian felt so comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when I went to see you, that's that's when I realized the weird the weird dico- uh, dichotomy is that a word? That's a word. The weird dichotomy that exists, right? I was I told you I was comfortable because I seen niggas with guns and I felt safe, even though I didn't know those people. I don't know that Ian felt like he, he was, was sitting next to Kiki though. That was it. Kiki different. He kind of he don't talk too much. So he be looking at people. So like, you know, you Ian, you just having a good time. How you guys doing? It's just a big black nigga with Julio <laughs> braids. Like, <laughs> Ian's sitting there. Are those registered? <laughs> <laughs> Why is the serial number scraped off? I, yeah, I had it. No, you can't do that. All the kids out there, stop scraping your serials off because you're gonna get a fair case. <laughs> don't scrape them off. Just keep it on there and just take your gun case, bro. Trust me. Don't scrape it off. That's and good. don't build right. them ghost guns. They giving niggas about fifteen for those. Just take your 32, 32 months with half. And your little strike nah, if that I'm arguing that. What the fuck are you talking about? Leave the cereal on there. Because then it just receives a stolen property and fell in with possession of a firearm. If you scratch if you scratch the serial number off, then 
it gets tricky because that's government property once you start scratching off. That's shit. assuming they done traced it back to me, nigga. <laughs> they not running no if you're in the state of California, they're not running no guns, it's too expensive. As long as they don't find you with the same kind of bullets. So every time you go, just swap out your pack of bullets from your clip, you know what I mean? Or honestly just get you a thirty eight or a seven. Kanye <laughs> <laughs> Kanye <laughs> recently <laughs> visited Howard. You just gave some game you know and no, boy, did, that was boy. the college version of gangbang. Yeah, it worked. I, I, I don't want the kids <laughs> that was to get guns for a no, no, no. All right, I'm with Vince. All right, Rory, your turn. Rep the Greeks. <laughs> what y'all be doing with your guns? A lot hey, of Greeks got guns. Hey, what you Kappa niggas be doing? They have guns, too. Move. Anyway, Kanye. Uh, move it. Move, 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 move it. We move coming. It. Co- 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 coming. <laughs> with weapons. <laughs> what? what? We're coming with weapons. <laughs> that's, a, that's a crazy chant. We're coming with weapons. Yo, what's wrong yeah, with you, man? You, yo, we're, coming with weapons. <laughs> we're on the way with yeah. firearms. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> we here. <laughs> we're, we're, we're coming with weapons, nigga. We're, yo, <laughs> you college fucking gangs are such losers. Right. <laughs> and shout out to y'all, cause I'm joking. I don't know nothing about that. But man, that was some funny <laughs> shit. <laughs> Jesus. All right, I think Vince's gang wins. I, yes, I would take his gang over mine. Nah, yeah. man. Shout out to the college gang, man. You productive. You feel me? Go get your education. HBCUs, all of that. Y'all wilding in here. <laughs> Cock back! <laughs> now shoot! <laughs> Clear out! <laughs> Wait, don't they get into a little part where they break it down and start getting into their names and shit? <laughs> like, don't they got solo? It's perp! There is. Perp. What? <laughs> oh, that was actually pretty funny, Park. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, no. AKA C plus. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he must. He must. Yo. <laughs> Alright, so Maul was at the club with Big Dick Daryl. What? <laughs> hey, hey Rory. <laughs> let me explain something to you, all right? Hey, I Joe's getting the back row. I wasn't at the club with no nigga named Big Dick. I ain't let no nigga with no big dick. I wasn't at the club back. with no nigga named Big Dick Daryl, my nigga. Only little I dick said nigga. I said the nigga back. named Big Dick Buster that is in the Godfather Harlem <laughs> is security at One Oak. That's what I said, nigga. Oh, shit. I was at the club with Big Dick <laughs> What? I'm so glad niggas don't know that about. I would never hang out with no Big Dick niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas don't get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo. Yo. I ain't. I'm just keeping it being. You gotta know. You stay at home. <laughs> you gotta stay at home. <laughs> the Jesus is King trailer came out. <laughs> Yo, no, you you let all of this stem from me just trying to get into the Jada Kiss topic. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's still on the screen. screen. <laughs> Ki double. Oh my god. Even that's a little freaky <laughs> in this topic right now. <laughs> Kiss is the only nigga that can name himself Kiss and get away with it. That's yeah. that's true. it's hard. Like, it's hard when he do it. Go ahead and somebody else do it. I'm a clown, you nigga. Uh, all right, so Jadakiss put out a short film for his new song, Me. I then spent... We Bay, sir. I then spent Listen, 20 we, minutes... We Bay has been playing the same character his whole career and kills it every single time he's in that role. He's been playing Have you ever met him in real life? He's kind of like that in real life, too, so... He plays that role well. I think that's just him. Yeah. Man. Oh, he's the first row teaming. <laughs> He's not the first from TV. Nah, way back. No, Amani is the first from TV. <laughs> okay. All right, see. All right. Sleepers it is. We tried today. Yeah. It was a good pod. Yeah, let me get. Let me find Amani is the first row TV. That's some Someone thought I messed up. Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> nah, he, he got some legitimate beefs. He should be beefing with Mac Wilds. He should be beefing with Roe Timmy. Yeah. He should have been snuffed Mac Wilds. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Jadakiss <laughs> put out a short film called for his uh, new song, Me. I heard the song. I like the song. I didn't see the video. How the fuck did you hear the song? It's oh, on, title. It's you on got title. Yeah. See, oh, tried, it's only on title? I tried to buy it, and I tried to search it on Apple, and I didn't find it at all. Uh, you mean on Spotify? That's what you meant. Yes, a- Spotify. Apple, Apple Five. I was eating an Apple. 
Yeah. Now I was eating apples. I'm glad, oh, I'm glad you're yeah. staying healthy, man. Yeah, yeah, no, no, apples are great, man. They are yeah. good. To eat. Yeah. But Spotify only. Spotify I would game. never stream an apple. Yeah. Nah, nah. Um, I didn't hear the song. How, how was the song? I'm sorry. I heard the sample. The sample sounds nuts. Actually, he gave he gave me a bar on the end of the short film, and I was like, all right, is Jada Kiss over a sample where he lets the sample talk in the, you know, this is hold, yeah. this is holding me down, and this is his bag. So I can't <laughs> wait to hear it. I'm going to buy it whenever it's available for, uh, for purchase, and that's that. But I did enjoy the short film. I did. It was good. So it's only a snippet it of dramatic. the song at the end of the short film. Maybe 30 seconds, Okay. 10 after the sample plays, because the sample rides I'm out. Watching, but looks, the sample is well shot. Oh, no, it's good. It's yeah. a good story. And it's a great sample. It's a great sample at the end. Right. Uh, shout out to Kiss, man. I'm looking forward to whatever the fuck you got going on. Somebody got to hold Def Jam down. <laughs> <laughs> he's, on, he's, is, he's on Rock, I think. It came out. Yeah, yeah, is he still on Def Jam? Oh, the song is out now. Got, no, he's on Def Jam, yeah. Is he? No. Nah, well, Jada Kiss is a Def Jam act. This the video started. Rock Nation. This video started by saying Def Jam Records. No, Rock Nation. So yeah, I think the record label did say Rock Nation, but... Regardless, whatever. Either way, I know the yeah. locks is on Rock Nation. I yeah. don't know about his, his solo shit. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Def Jam and Rock. All right. Whatever. Yeah, y'all know how this goes. Roy, don't try to act like you don't know. You <laughs> you understand Def Jam Rock. <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, yeah, but it's good. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Short film, Jada Kiss, me, uh, we made. It's Def Jam. Yeah. We made the white dude from all the shit that we love. <laughs> check it out. All right. Uh, oh, and Kid, Art. Kid Art did that. Okay. That's Kid your man? Yeah, Kid Art is dope. His work is dope. Okay. Who? Cool. Oh, Kid Art. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. No, he is dope. He is dope. Um, there was some new music. Uh, Smoke Dizza and Benny and Pete Rock. Yep. Uh, Griselda solo, well, group album, the group I guess, for, rather. For, yeah. for the shady shady deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Black Moon. I like mm-hmm. Black Moon. You got something out? New, new Black Moon album. It's pretty dope. Okay. Oh, that's dope. For us, for us old that. heads. Oh, the Boom Back Did, um, back. The Boom Back. I was going back. Gangstar, Did, new single. Did Jimmy tease that an album was coming this year? Who? Jim Jones. Jim Jones. He said a new album? Yeah, he posted something that looked like he was announcing an album before the year was up. If, if, He's trying to double up? Let me tell you something. If Jim put out Jim. another album this year, he ain't. Bu- he not playing. He Jim, already Jim, has Jim, a debatable Jim, rap Jim album of the year has. right now. <laughs> it's, it's in the top five for sure. Yeah. For me. I would put it there. It's top yeah. three for me. Yeah. December? December? Yeah, maybe top three. It's top three for me. He has something coming in December. Jim, oh yeah, Jimmy's Jim, not Jim, playing. Jimmy's Jim, Jim going crazy. <laughs> Gucci Man put out his second project this year, right? Yeah, yeah, he did. He puts out like six albums a year. So, all right. I downloaded. It. I haven't checked it out yet. Yeah, I don't listen either. Damn, now I might have to play Black Moon Sleeper. Hmm. Look at you. I you don't have. Who got the process? Of course <laughs> not. Black Moon in here. He has to. This route was crazy. Um, all right. Uh, before we get to sleepers, come on, Parks. Let's run down things that are really important to our fan base. <laughs> <laughs> we need a, we need some type of intro with yeah, this song for this segment. Yeah, I'm going to figure it out. Well, we definitely have to say uh, rest in peace to Elijah Cummings. Absolutely. We'll touch on that. Yes. Rest in peace to Elijah Cummings, who died from longstanding health complications. Uh, prayers and condolences to not only his friends, family, and loved ones, but the black community as a whole. Um, he just would get up there and tell the white people like it is, man. <laughs> yeah. That's 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 why I fuck with uh I fuck with him. Rest in peace, uh, gone but not forgotten. Huge, huge loss. Yeah. Uh, Beyonce was rated the most beautiful woman in the world by this podcast, not by whatever uh, other metric they're using. Yeah, yeah, we, the algorithms. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm rolling. Yeah. Even though Elton John said one. that she fucked up the uh, soundtrack to Lion King. Well, if anybody can say that, it's Elton John. I mean, I like the album. I can't speak on the soundtrack. I mean, Elton John didn't put out Lemonade, so I don't know what the fuck he talking yeah. about. Big facts. He didn't put out before I let you go either. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You got a point. You like the song, Vince? What song? Uh, the Beyonce version of Before I Let You Go. I ain't never heard it, but yeah, I love it. Mm-hmm. And Roy, Roy never heard the Chance album. I haven't. You should That's hear it. it. You should hear that. I mean, yo, I'm, yo, yo, I think feel like niggas are stealing my I didn't hear it yet line. <laughs> <laughs> niggas when did that come it? out? That's a fact on that. Ch- I seriously have not heard the Chance album. See, my, they, they put not that on. Facts. They put that on me, but my line is, I gotta live with it more. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna steal that from you. Yeah, I gotta I like, live with I like that. I, yeah. I like wrong. I heard it, but I, I like wrong with it. it. Yo, I understand why people like it, but it's just not for me. But yeah, I that get one like too. Why yeah. it's dope, yeah. but it's just not. 
For my ears, it's definitely I, I, I like Parks. I gotta live with it a little. Yeah, bit. I gotta live with it. Before yeah, I, I give you my synopsis. They don't want to make a brush type of artist that you can't synopsis. just give it one listen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what? I can't rate this yet. Come on, I can't, I can't rate, rate this. Yet. Nah, I wouldn't even be doing it. It's probably scale of one to ten. You know my yeah. usual. Yeah, it just dropped. I mean, let's live with it. Yeah. I never bring it up again. Listen to this nigga. Like I don't like this. They're closing Records Island. Round of applause. Yes. I think. Well, hey. I don't know if it's a round of applause, but no, it's a no, it's a round of applause. No, that's a round of applause. Yeah, but they're just opening more jails. Yeah. But well, Rikers needs it, to it'll, close. Yeah, it'll be Rikers easier to maintain. And they didn't say jails; amounts. they said detention centers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that, it says jails done. in this one. But oh, okay. Well, twenty twenty six, right? All right then. Twenty twenty six. Mute the applause. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they said it costs. I think I have read somewhere that it costs eight billion dollars to close Rikers. They just be right. saying yeah. some numbers. Eight billion? That shit makes a lot of money, bro. Damn. I see why they trying to keep niggas in there. Yo. That's Cecilia? Yeah. No. That's not her. No, nah, you got to sound a little, a little more excited on the JBP, man. Come on, Ish. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? Y'all niggas be there all day? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get the people. We gotta get the people what they want. My nigga, it's eleven o'clock. <laughs> Look at Seven. our dedication. <laughs> yeah, no, we almost done. Well, what's up? We in the streets tonight. What we doing? It's Park's birthday. Yeah, hey, we in the what we doing? Come to Queens, I mean, nigga. I'm Tell your girl you gotta go to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got, Yo, I got to record. Hey, wait, now nah, hold up, it's real quick. But before you go, I don't even know that you' about to go. What come do? On, what do? No, no, real quick. Just didn't deal with me. What do? Because if you work construction, you build houses and shit. What lies do you tell your girl at a late night to get out go of You can't shit. say I got to go build an apartment. <laughs> you can say a pipe burst. Ah, uh, yo, one of my tenants smelled uh, gas. <laughs> That's solid. That works. What's she gonna do? I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Yo, niggas is creeps. That works. Ish, hit me, hit me in 30 minutes. We in the streets. Tell her you smell some gas, man. Oh, man. Yo, what are you talking about? All right, yo. One. Nah, gas, for real, man. what niggas doing? What niggas is in these streets, nigga. Single Joe is here. Oh, boy. Right. Yo, bye, man. Get your corny. Mm, yo, yeah. bye, mm, man. Bye. <laughs> uh, all right, where, where's we at? Uh, uh, I saw Maul uh, walking hand in hand with Julius Randle. Hey, that's important. Through the was tunnel. Walking, that's important. It was not walking hand in hand. No, you was doing the. Nah, you yeah. was doing your see. I'm closing a deal. Phone call. Yeah. I was just on the phone with the restaurant. Why are you with Julius Randle? That's my. Young I say young boy, man. Yeah. What I'm doing? Yeah. NBA young boy. Uh, see what you Because he's in the NBA. How many yeah. young boys you got? In the NBA. <laughs> a few. That are taller than you. <laughs> a few? And make a lot of money. Yeah. A few. A few. Quite a few. Mm, quite a few. You like yeah, the, okay. the young god, the young boy breeder, huh? Uh, they just respect, you know, they respect the old head. I'm the old head now. Like, you my age. You are old. Yeah, I'm 38, man. When's your birthday? September 26th. I just turned. Yeah. OG, Libra. OG, Libra, OG, Libra OG uh, J-Bone. I'm all Libra? Yeah, Libra King. Mm-hmm. Oh, that explains. I hate Libras. <laughs> uh, that explains it. I hate <laughs> you are so disrespectful. Yeah, I'm, I'm joking. That ex- oh, that explains uh, it. What else is important, Parks? Uh, give it to us. Give it to us. Give it to us. Lady Gaga got, got dropped on her head. That was pretty funny. I mean, that was horrible. That was horrible. No, that was a bad. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. a bad drop. Yeah, he was. He should work out more. Fans should not touch artists. That's true. That's true. That's but I Lady think. Gaga is one of them that's like she's she's five what, three. Yeah, but she's with that whole include the fans, allow some shit oh. that I normally wouldn't allow. That's a bad That's a drop. Bad fall. He broke his leg? It like his leg broke. He hit the Travis Scott Vogue? Yeah, no, look at his left leg. That shit like That's it all snapped. it was, bro. In the certain communities, his they leg do definitely dance. broke right there. I can I can assure you that Lady Gaga hopped right up in perfect health, like dun, dun. pushed him down a <laughs> little right back <laughs> stiff armed him to the floor. Where does this rank in the Miguel dropkick? Uh, it's up there. <laughs> no, Miguel's dropkick was totally unnecessary. <laughs> no, nah, <laughs> mo- mo- most dropkicks are unnecessary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he did not have to try to jump over the pit like that. Like, the homie's leg, like, it just broke. Like, that's not his fault. Like, his knee snapped, for sure. <laughs> Vince, you have, you, have drop, you ever had a, a, a drop physical me with altercation on. with a fan? Uh, Yo, what are you like, Vlad, nigga? Nah. <laughs> where, where did you hide the guns from Def Jam? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
They Vince would him, never man. have such an altercation with a nah. fan. Nah, I don't, I don't and his fans that. like him. They sure white be, white <laughs> festival fans. Sure, sure yeah, but, be but trying to pick fans, you up. White fans are a little handsy. Them That's why I'm asking. You just can't get close to them. The shorties be trying to pick you up like that. No, 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 no. Oh, they pick Vince up like Lady Gaga. Guy Gaga. <laughs> we got to fight. That's crazy. <laughs> a nigga pick you up me. like that, Vince. You got to fight. Like, you was not going to grab me by my waist. That's out of here. So no nigga ever grabbed you by the waist before? Never. <laughs> well, you listen Niggas to that get question. defensive quick. Never. Never happened, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? By I mean, it be happening. But, but by mistake, a nigga never tried to walk by you and just put his hand on your lower back like, pardon me? <laughs> nah, where do you be at? <laughs> The, the, Korean Frank, spot. the Frank Ocean Club. <laughs> Where do you be at when niggas just putting their hands on your lower face? <laughs> Nobody. I didn't say me. See, that's what he said. He said, I, "Where do you be at?" I know, but he just switched it and you started laughing. I didn't say but me. That's funny, man. Damn, Joe. <laughs> Laugh. I don't think a nigga ever did that except for the Asian homeboy. <laughs> <laughs> what put you encouraged? The nails. Was his name Big Dick Daryl? <laughs> big Dick Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gotta fuck. I'm not dating no nigga with no big dick. <laughs> Yo, all right, we gotta get sleep. Yo, keep that. Get, you talk no, to me. We gotta get out of here. We have to. Well, can we raise we, that? No, no, no. Look at that. <laughs> no, we leaving that. But we moving on. <laughs> we hey, leaving that. Hey, and see, unfortunately, that is that is the only way that Joe knows how to Gary Stop be. This no, light, it's the vibes. <laughs> he put this rainbow light on you, man. Parks think he's funny. It's the only time he's ever tried to work that fucking remote. <laughs> I didn't no, know I it was a remote. But... Uh, where do we go from big to big? What, what else is on, on your what's important list? <laughs> I think that was it. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no. Uh, third base is beef, some, right? Some, some white on white crime. White on white crime. Search. First Pete, Pete Nice. Pete Rock. I mean, <laughs> I'm going with Pete Rock in that one. Yeah. Uh, Pete Nice. Pete Nice versus MC Search. This is the battle that I've been waiting for my Since entire life. By the way, ninety one. Uh, no, before then, it had to be. When was when was uh, uh gas face? It wasn't ninety one. Um, it was eighty nine. Yeah, it was a little bit before, and I've okay. been because the conversation actually was, yo, who's nicer between these two niggas? And and at the time, you know, two white niggas rapping, they both could rap. All right, I don't know, I don't know. It was in, and they just wouldn't beef. They seemed like the best of friends. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that finally twenty nine. If you gonna, if you gonna split up fucking baby and Wayne. <laughs> That's then, the next step. Then, 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 third base got Yeah, now nah, they got to go, man. Hey, we done fucking Rockefeller done crumbled. <laughs> nah, third base. Fat boys just, broke up. Yeah, yeah. third base Fugees just can't be up. in perfect unison out here. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you saw. City High broke up. Mm. Mall, mall girl. Chill. Where is Claudette? Can we Look, call looking great somewhere Can in we New Jersey. Her? Somebody have her number? She was fine. She's still she probably fine. probably still is. Yeah. Yeah. You, were still, you were still like. Yes. <laughs> Today, sincerity. I like that. Right Tonight, now. I'd skip Tonight Park's birthday. As soon as I leave here, yeah, yeah. I would. As soon as I leave here, even though her kids at home, I would soon I'm crying on the floor because it's hungry. Mall kind of look like the two city high niggas combined. Yo, you don't think city high? What would you do? Just go to mall is neighborhood high. <laughs> you don't think City High What would you do Is just a prime example Of you trying to create Small talk And then someone putting All their problems on you <laughs> All he said was Yo I haven't seen you Since junior high And then shorty went off <laughs> <laughs> Well she was He was the, trying to make Small she was, talk She was filling them in On what was going on with her, like. <laughs> What would you do If your mom's a bitch I don't know <laughs> My See, mom's home I'm at the, the strip club yeah. Leave me alone <laughs> The baby is great man. I don't know What you got going on Over there <laughs> Queen <laughs> Yeah, you got to end it with a queen. I, I felt yeah. for dude in that whole situation. That is funny. That is funny. Who wins between MC Search and uh and uh? Peanuts? Well, no. Let me give you the backstory of their beef. I would like to hear it because uh, you started it. Listen, man. White and white crime. It's an epidemic. <laughs> Damn, Pete Nice Page. Search, Search, Search was going around so. on a bunch of publications saying that <laughs> Lior asked him to write for Rakim. Then Rakim was privy of this information. I think on Sway, and Rakim said, "Search." I love you, but I'll punch you in the face. You never wrote for me. Then Search, then Search said, no, I meant Lior asked me. You had no idea about it. And then Pete Nice <laughs> said, fam, you're, you're the biggest liar on earth. <laughs> and he was on a radio show. I don't know what radio show it was. MC Search called in. Pete Nice was there. They was arguing about who was a Trump supporter. Search said, I wrote all your rhymes. Pete said, you're a pathological <laughs> liar. It was the greatest <laughs> debate on a radio show I've ever heard in my life. What's that, a sway? That nah, like it was a some sway. random shit that Pete oh, Nice was okay. on. Who you think got the publishing? Search. 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 <laughs> yeah. I know who I paid, dog. <laughs> Search like Search publishing. Like publishing. Yeah. Search was taking everybody publishing. I could believe that story, though, about uh, 
just asking somebody to write something for another yeah. artist. Um, oh, yeah. Um, unbeknownst to them. That, that happened to me a bunch of Def Jam. I won't say to who, but, and I won't say who suggested it, but. Damn, you're a blueprint? No. <laughs> no. No, okay. No, definitely. I don't have a song crying me. No. <laughs> well, all my songs cry. <laughs> That's why they asked you. Thank yeah, you. you're definitely not the heart of the city. Thank you, Rory. <laughs> um, is there anything else that's important? 100% before we get out of here, rest in peace to the boxer Patrick Day, who uh, suffered a 10th round knockout loss Saturday night. All right, I'm reading now Saturday night. He got knocked down three times. He fought uh, Charles Conwell, who was undefeated, 2016 U.S. Olympian. And uh, he was rendered unconscious in the 10th when he got knocked out. He never regained consciousness. He died four days later. Uh, at the hospital So I want to say rest in peace to Patrick Day His friends, his family uh, Super, super, super sad story Nothing happens to, to the boxer in a ring When you kill somebody, right? No, no. I mean, no, you, a, lot uh, of them, a lot of them uh, Just mentally, they're, they're not the same Like, it kind of still weighs on them That they fought somebody that ended up dying Because I know, I think the dude He had released a statement um, I think following his death <clears throat> and I just you know just because you boxers look at it like that could have been me you know what I mean I, I think all fighters look at it that way too like that could have been me so it's just you know something that weighs on them and you never want to go in there and, and you don't want nobody to die as a result of fighting you yeah I don't think they go in the ring with that intention I'm gonna say this and this is just my warped brain and how my brain connects dots but uh, this week I read, not I read, somebody I, somebody was saying that soul food uh, for black people, mm -hmm. their point was soul food was basically given to black people by like white people. Like we made what we could make. It was slave slot. Given, yes, what we yeah. were given. Uh and all that unhealthy shit is strictly for us. Now, when I think of sports and I see this, I think that too. Like, just it seemed like everything relatable for black people kills us. <laughs> everything related to black people? Yeah, like you relate to, I relate sports to black people. Yeah. Okay. That's safe. So when you just well, see. Well, this is a violent sport. Man. What? It's fighting, and this you can you can take it back to the slave area. Slave area where they would make slaves fight for entertainment. Uh, if if that's where you're trying to connect it, make the connection to. My brain connects to weird <laughs> shit like that. It may not be connected at all, but for, for me it is, and it's just disturbing. It's disturbing that this could potentially be the fate mm. of black entertainment. Yeah, and that's what I got there. Rest in peace to Patrick Patrick Day. Rest in peace. Unless, unless y'all yeah. have anything else on yeah, this. Rest in peace. Nah, rest in peace. I would love to talk to a boxer about about this. There's there's psycho there's some psychological shit here. Oh, absolutely. The whole sport is a lot of psychological shit, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was listening to Max Kellerman say something about um the fact that they changed uh <coughs> that they do the weigh in the day before now and what boxers have to do to uh hydrate themselves yeah. and, and get Oh, no, nah, sick. And he yeah, was saying he was saying how it's it's not proven, but to him, that plays a part in the body's functioning and the brain's yeah. functioning. I mean, it like has. For, I don't even think that's a theory. It has to. I know, but what yeah. I'm saying is, for sports to generate so much money, like, shouldn't we allow testing for like some type of advanced testing for some of this stuff? Yeah, and I don't even well, know. Well, what no, type that of that kind of shuts down. Be. And I didn't see the Will Smith movie when he had the accent, but. That's kind of the point of, yeah, when you figure things out, it affects the money. Well, my only thing about that movie is with CTE, even in the movie, they said you, you can't even test it until you're dead. Until you're dead, yeah. Right. So, cool, but there has to be something we could do about Well, the I NFL mean, has taken, you know, if you have a concussion, they'll put you on a concussion watch. And, or and they took out the protocol. helmet to helmet Yeah, like, so they, and they changed some of it. You can't hit helmet to helmet. So they're trying as much as they can without, you know, ruining the sport. So to say But it's it's really no With boxing it, There really is no way Around a head injury Right Like No Joe Biden Sorry You're paid to To fight And you know You aim for the head Trying to knock your opponent out And It's just You know Sometimes it's a It's a deadly It's a deadly thing Got it And not just 
head injuries. Those body shots. Yeah. Fuck up your For kidneys. Real. For real. Y'all seen that Mike Tyson on uh, Mike Tyson shit with uh him? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, when he was oh, chilling yeah. and looked <laughs> Terrifying. Yeah, I'm, I'm so afraid of my guys. <laughs> um, I think that's all we got. Unless there's anything else important that we missed in the event that we did, we'll be back on Wednesday. So I mean, what do you want me to do, man? Ah, uh, give us a little. Yeah, you know I mean, give us a little bed. <laughs> <laughs> that's a wild bed. That nigga Nate boy. <laughs> I almost feel bad on like sacrilegious to talk over this shit. I'm telling you, man, this shit came on the strip club with killers behind me. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my yes! Oh, I didn't even know that's. Do you young, know how nice of a e rapper you gotta be? Young to e. say, that's Young E in the tuck. That's a scary sight. <laughs> Rest in peace, Ice Pick for show. Yeah, I'd absolutely. Love one, I'd love one of those. I'd love one of those hats. My God. Um, you know how ill of a rapper you got to be to say, to start a verse with, I walk into the room and feel a slight breeze? What <laughs> 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 the fuck is nature talking about? But say it to him. I dare you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen, this was a good podcast. Vince, Vince, thanks, man. I'm just posted, bro. Word. That's you're, not true. You're Off welcome, camera. Wow. You're welcome to, anytime. To you, you were just posted. To me, like, I hate rappers, man. <laughs> I hate, like, I don't have, to, I can't, I don't have rapper friends no more. I think Fab might have been my last one. Wale's, Wale's one of my rapper friends, too. I fuck with Wale. And you. That's it. <laughs> Friday the end of the list. That's a cool little bunch, you know what I mean? Nah, not really. Royce. <laughs> me. Royce's family. Yeah. Royce. I, gotta, uh, I gotta hit you when I, I get to L.A., when I come I to L.A., man. We gotta hang out. Be Why? He don't be in L.A. He be in the fucking whatever the gangbanger part of town is, Long which Beach? is far. <laughs> It's on, I got a car, nigga. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking to Parks earlier, trying to figure out when Rory's going to make that that huge step in his life. Nah, it's not going to happen. I missed my window. Me either, Rory. You're going to get a car. Yes, you are. Oh, I thought you were talking about LA. No, I'm talking about a car. <laughs> oh, no, no. I didn't miss my window. Probably next year. There you go. Get you a Buick, man. Yeah, kill that shit. <laughs> Um, Buick? Yeah, prep plus. 20, 20, 2017 Buick. Yeah, prep plus. Me a little Century Buick. or something. Was, yeah, you know what time prep it is. Plus Buick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, man. We getting the fuck out of here. We are gonna turn up for my guy's uh, birthday, thirty six. We are here. Yep. Uh, great time. Remember that life is a series of moments, and moments pass. So let's make this one last, as if it's all we have. Until the next time, I bid you adieu, farewell, adios, derchi so long, goodbye, one deuces. Uh, all right, hold up, Nas. I don't want to say this over a Nas hook. Let's bring this back. <laughs> um, where am I? At? Where am I? At? Oh, and remember, remember, remember. Do remember. Do do remember. <laughs> no, no, no. Just go. You're good. You're good before that. I'm gonna go to Clue and tell him to give me all of the, his little vocals from the old mix. He ain't using them shits. He letting fucking flex fucking out radio him. <laughs> <laughs> that was funnier than. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to both of them. Uh, remember that girl is not cute. She is young. That girl is not thick. She's on her tippy toes. She does not have hips. She's sitting on a bed or a sink, or a flat surface. She does not have woman's intuition. She went through your phone. She is not healing. She is hoeing. She does not have a sense of humor. She grew up with brothers. And last, but certainly not least, <laughs> that woman is not protecting her peace. She's protecting her toxic. <laughs> She's not protecting her peace. She is avoiding accountability, failing to realize how her actions have a negative effect on not only her life. <laughs> is everything all right at home? <laughs> Do it sound like it's not? We can talk. Uh, nah, call me, man. Oh, no, nah, I'm adding my last week shit. No shit. She's not a foodie. She has you saved as food in her phone. Mm. That's it. That's fucked up, man. Mm. She's a foodie and you're saved as food in her phone. <laughs> uh, do remember that guy's not working a double. He slept at her place. 
He doesn't have a lot on his mind. She found out about you. He's not asking where you at. He's calculating how much time it takes for you to get home. Work has not been slow for a few weeks. He's unemployed. Y'all are not working things out. He's gone forever, and you just don't know how to take it when he tells you. He doesn't see things your way. His car is in your name, and that is not an echo in his house. He's in the bathroom, bitch. Yeah. Oh. And he's not fighting demons. Hit it, Jack. He owes niggas money. Yeah. <laughs> he's not He's not going through something. He's with his family. Uh, he's not tough. He saw security and raised his voice. That's important. That's an important, that important. one. That's yeah. important. That is important. Why do bitches like that guy? <laughs> <laughs> they only do that for the... You know what? We Why do have, chicks like the what? guy that takes his shirt off in the parking lot to fight? They do? That's do they? Yeah. I'll do good, dude. You That's niggas, a nasty You still guy. let niggas take their shirt off before they fight you? <laughs> <laughs> if you think I'm going to still be standing there while you're when taking you take your, your shirt, shirt off, off nigga. No, I'm going to still be standing there. I'm going to wait till it get over your head. <laughs> 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 you know how this goes. <laughs> 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 All right, we're getting the fuck out of here until Wednesday, man. Y'all have a real safe weekend or don't. I don't give a fuck. I don't know you niggas. And <laughs> <laughs> until, until next time. Peace, man. <laughs> Parks is childish. I am very childish. <laughs> no, 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 no,